I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. F it. Do it live. I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live. Fucking thing sucks. In five. Gary, some serious gourmet shit. What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the decadent Feathers of Liberty vanilla infused flavored coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the dark roast FNT blend of the fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. <laughs> The following day. うどんプロレスから <laughs> I, was, I was watching Ryan in the background. 
just looking disgusted with the whole thing. He looks disgusted <laughs> to be here and slightly jobless, but it's okay. Uh, welcome to Friday Night Tights again from the road uh, with my from bro. With my bro, Quarter Black Garrett. What's up? Very precarious situation we have over here. Uh, <laughs> it's not we'll as precarious as, as Dallas was. That's At least true. I can like that is man true. spread like a can proper move, man. Can walk around. Yeah. <laughs> can move your legs a little bit. Good God. Jesus, that was crazy. It was another uh, broke back road trip, I see. Yes. Yes. We are in uh, uh, Asheville. North Carolina. North Carolina. Oh, Nashville? Asheville. Asheville. Oh, oh. Oh, Every, everybody thought Nashville. you guys were going to be in Nashville. Every well, single technically, well, that's how we do it. Going we to the God Brooks bar. Exactly I was. So and then I drove, <laughs> through. I drove through Nashville uh, to get here. And Knoxville. I went through all the Vills. Yep. All the Vills down here in the South. Uh, saw the Loretta Lynch uh, Dude Ranch sign. Uh, was not far from Graceland for a little while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the Vills. Got the whole experience. Uh, is that where Grace Nashville. Randolph is from? You know? Yes. That's, uh, yes, she is. So, <laughs> no, there's a lot of trees. That, that's all we saw. Fuck it, I'm done way. with trees. I'm up to here with trees. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, look! All of the trees are getting blown down in the south. In the in the, in the freaking Amazon rainforest. I don't care. Look, have you ever driven through the south? There's enough trees. We've got enough. We're These good. are different, though. There's different things. I don't give them. a shit. There's different. I, types personally, of I don't. I, every every fucking single species in the earth could go extinct. I wouldn't really give a fuck. So I don't really care either. I'm just pointing it out. <laughs> Good to have you on the team, bud. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah. If you can't adapt, you fucking die. Like if I have, if you're making me drink out of a fucking paper straw that goes limp in five minutes, all because some retarded fucking turtle doesn't know how to not stick it in its nose and die. I don't care. They can die. I would rather a nice, drink a plastic straw. Hard, rigid straw. Suck it Much down. better. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm a treeist. Our, our, Throbbing our, straw. Uh, and that was a, uh, a stirring speech from our DEI. Brian <laughs> Kennel. <laughs> 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 DIE. To, yeah. uh, to be fair, when you were looking at me when we were like what, watching the intro, I was making a thumbnail. So I was I was not completely <laughs> oh, disgusted right. with everything happening. So I mean, in regards to the fun. intros, just, I, just I do have some questions. So the um the light one. Uh, where, where did footage come from for the light in the room? That was obviously Gary's sex dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> so, Every Texan has one. Yeah. So, yes. Oh. Yeah. I believe it's a shared space between Gary and Quarter Black at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you get Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. <laughs> We wanted to make it extra gay today because yeah. it is Pride Month. So yeah, we're wrapping up the month. That is uh, that is my we're bedroom. Uh, so I have a deal with Mrs. Nerdrotic. Is I get to do whatever I want to my uh, studio, and it's kind of crawled into the home theater. And there might be a gaming room downstairs too. <gasps> so she gets to decorate the bedroom however she wants. Mm. It's a big Star Trek corner. So yeah. I did see yeah, I did see a cool poster. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. But it's like your safety it. corner you run there when things are <laughs> yeah, not nerdy enough. Yeah. When, when I'm feeling like I'm not being nerdy enough, I go in that corner and I just go, Captain Kirk, Captain Kirk. Because <laughs> <'Cause, laughs> it, it did look like a woman decorated it. I do agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yes. Because a woman did. That, did. that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, it looked like a woman All decorated right. my background, Chad. It looks like ISIS decorated your back. <laughs> yeah. I took down the flag, so they just did a beheading video. It got a little messy. The pride flag? I get a show to do. Yes, the ISIS pride flag. Yes. <laughs> They're very inclusive. Regent, Regent Street's just, under occupation at the moment. In the yeah, it's just, I, I believe the ISIS pride flag is just a picture of a three-story building. It's just, oh, it's just like a big, a big Disney symbol with an X through it or something. <laughs> 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 Oh, I'm sure the Legion of Memers aren't working on an ISIS pride flag right, right now. now. <laughs> As we uh, welcome to Friday Night Tights, everyone from the road. Last one for a little while till we're in Comic Con. Yeah, I yeah. oh, man, we've been traveling this whole time. It's the it's the Pride Month tour. It, it, it is. It is. We wanted to get the hell out of the big cities, and we came to probably North the middle Carolina's of fucking nowhere, gay city. <laughs> Best <laughs> so, place during yeah. this month. What? What? 
The what? best place during this month is to get away into the fucking country, away from well, home. That's what we, yeah. when Pride used to be just a weekend, like a four day weekend, we'd, we'd just take off out of San Francisco. We'd go camping or something. I couldn't imagine living in San Francisco when that happens. You just don't drive into San Francisco. Dolores Park is going to be a shit show. You don't even get anywhere near the Castro. You lock down like the Purge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but the Purge had one massive advantage. <laughs> 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 what was that as? What, Not what saying. Could, what could that be? <laughs> yeah, whatever could that be? I don't know. He just oh. meant that they made a bunch of movies about it, which is pretty neat. Oh yes, yeah, yes. they were very popular. They did. They did. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we're we're here to see uh, Randall Carlson. We're at the Cosmic Summit. So Randall Carlson's awesome. All For those the of you who know, you all the Randall you can handle. That, Oh wow! <laughs> okay, all right. You guys are you're not helping right, your bud. case there. Nope. I'm not no, even I'm trying the case. Not even trying. Uh, <laughs> lot to talk about today. Uh, all of us have seen the Flash now. Yep. All of us. Yay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> what reviews out and everything? Say that. Yeah. So we'll we'll be discussing that. Marvel's delayed. They want to remake Lord of the Rings. Sexual allegations, <laughs> more MCU people. More of them. Uh, really? <laughs> that's, that's just a weekly huh. fixture. That's just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with, the, with their minority villains, it seems to be like a weird game. <laughs> we know that word. Like, hey, we, hey, we want to, we here at Marvel want to get more diverse, which means we're also going to have to deal with more allegations. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Disney, more diverse, more crime. <laughs> to be fair, the person who's accusing, uh, what's his name, Tenoch Huerta, the guy who plays Namor in yeah. Wakanda Forever, that person is like very openly a super activist. Uh, if I looked at that mm. person's pro- Twitter profile and had to make a snap judgment, I would say she's lying. But we just don't know. So, But at, at this point, it's safe to just guess that it's probably not true. Until we see some, Whoa. no, there is the whole innocent until proven guilty thing. Well, so. no, no, there isn't because it's Disney and it's believe all women. Oh, oh yeah, it's, that's right. Unless I you're gonna say it's Disney, and they're all horrible. So. Yeah, unless sorry. they're under yeah. contract yeah. to yeah. us. What do we do? Do we believe all women or do we believe the minority? Fuck no, we believe the dreamers. What about trans people? Do we believe them? Oh my god, if they have boobs, maybe. I don't even know. Manual or automatic. <laughs> <laughs> I saw I saw somebody on Twitter today with a T-shirt saying "Respect my pronouns, or I will stab you." Well, mm. Good luck. That's very nice. And I, I thought it's not. that person is protected from anything that anyone else can say against them. Isn't that funny? Yep. That's, Seems like a stable person. Yeah. They probably just meant they'd stab you with tolerance. Ooh, yeah. 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 Something or like that. In a mm. sexual manner. Stab you They'll with love. Kill you with kindness. Hmm. And a um, seven-inch blade. We, uh, Jeremy is uh, out on assignment for Geeks and Gamers. Probably he's under the under the table. Actually, yeah. There's a uh, there's he's a Disney the Pride desk. Night. He's infiltrating. I yeah. Okay. <laughs> Figured he was the best man for the job. I thought that was called <laughs> Fort, playing Fortnite but, every night. You know. Yeah. Not really sure. <laughs> every time. How's, how's it going? I, <laughs> it's going great. I I saw the Flash this week. Ten out of ten. Loved it. <laughs> sorry i just had a lot of freemason jokes lined up and i can't use any of them because we've got told not to so i had this whole fucking spiel and i can't use any of it so now i just gotta say i like the flash <laughs> the dude the we whole point is yeah. a secret i got my i got my cyborg eventually no, years Randall later Carlson. Is an admitted Freemason. Oh my he is. We're <laughs> he here is. for the main the yeah. Freemason meetup. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> That's right. I'm done. <laughs> I got <the> <laughs> I'm out. That's it. <laughs> See ya. Good night, everyone. Bye. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ryan. From Arcane. Out. Okay. Hi, Ryan from RK Outpost. How are you? I'm doing good. Yeah, I got to figure out how to change this uh, fucking camera because I look like either I look like I have fucking jaundice or I'm related to X-Ray Girl, one or the other. Smurf. Um, (laughs) But 
yeah, I'm super fucking yellow right now. But yes, I also saw The Flash. I think it's going to be a really interesting conversation. It's certainly, you know, every single fucking celebrity in Hollywood was like, this is, ra I'm randomly tweeting out that this is the greatest superhero movie I've ever yeah. seen. Um, it clearly was not that. It clearly was not a masterpiece. I went in with the lowest of expectations and I didn't they didn't meet my low expectation it was actually a little bit better than i thought okay. doesn't mean it was a good movie but i think i'm probably not as down on it as a lot of other people are oh there's a lot of things to hate about it <laughs> no shit yeah <laughs> <laughs> like, there, there's a lot of stuff between you know the lead actor of which there's two of him uh to the oh, cgi he, 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 <laughs> to, yeah yeah we'll get into spoilers yeah. but uh but yeah there's a lot to dislike about it but i found myself enjoying a decent amount of it too so we'll get some good like hot toys out of it that's pretty much it new batmobile new yeah. keaton batman yeah that, that, that's the good news i think they'll do the batwing the new one See, juice it's going to <gasps> we'll get into it because even I've got issues with them showing that Batmobile. Anyway, we'll, I'll talk about it later. Oh, I want to hear it. God, I love Batmobile. 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 I know Shad. Shad will just have contradictions to our contradictions. That's why he's here. <laughs> That's why we love him. <laughs> loving Aussie may yeah, right. destroy you. We'll get to you in a second, pal. But, uh, but I feel supported. I think Maul is going to back me up with this time. Finally, so. we can oh, unite. Yeah. We, oh, yeah. We have... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we can say, hey, since, you know, hi, Shad. How you doing? Hey, how are you, Gary? Good to be hey. here. I did not like The Flash. I found uh, Ezra Miller ut utterly insufferable. I, w I had the impulse to slap someone multiple times watching that thing. Um, and does he, to, is he physically disabled? He doesn't know how to run. He runs like this. I just, just every time I saw him run, I just wanted to hit him again. So he's always always yeah, I noticed that. I thought it was cool. he, I know, I know. They, they, even made, they even made fun of it like very intentionally in this movie. So that we'll talk about when it happens. That it's not his normal running. That's not how he normally runs. It's how he runs when he's trying to access the speed force. I laughed when he tried to zoom through the wall and just oh, pull and face I laughed. I laughed. <laughs> I laughed. Is that are you only laughing because you got to see Ezra Miller? Yes. Himself, yes. Right? yes. But it worked. It worked. It worked. <laughs> I laughed. <laughs> yeah, I, I legit I, like. There was some of they. It was a wacky fucking movie, like wacky goofy fucking humor that they never really let up on. And at, at the beginning of it, I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna fucking despise this. But honestly, like it started to grow on me a little bit. And I, I maybe just because my expectations were so done at the time, I actually started laughing a lot of the real stupid shit they were doing in it. Well, for a split <laughs> second, after five minutes of the movie, and for a split second, I was like, Zack Snyder, come back. Come back, Sexton. Oh. <laughs> I judge you too harshly. No. <laughs> in, 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 in a second, and then I regained my senses. But uh, it, for a split it, second, I, mean, I got there. There were Snyderisms in it, for sure. Well, but, like, it, it, interestingly enough, they made a specific reference. Ben Affleck made a very specific reference to a moment of time travel that happens in Zack Snyder's Justice League that does not happen in Joss Whedon's Justice League. Yes, in this movie, he referenced that. Oh yeah, well, well that, that, it showed reverence to the Snyderverse. It did as much as it could. I mean, aside from like not putting Henry Cavill in it and putting, uh, well, he was in it, like Sasha Kali. It was like a CGI <laughs> dude, wasn't it? The it was. Of him was. It, it was like one of those stills that you 3D model so you can like turn around. Like that's all it was. It was. It. it, it oh was, yeah. Oh, choice. It's supposed to look oh, weird. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I mm -hmm. It's supposed I, to look bad. So Henry Cavill actually did film stuff for this movie. Like that's, that's confirmed. Yes, he did. No, he no, got no. paid for it, and they cut yeah. it out. He was supposed yeah. to be in an ending, in a version yes. of the ending that they cut out. Yeah, there's a there's a on the the end credit scene with Aquaman. There's an extra, an extra bit that happens. We'll get to it because yeah, yeah, it, it, we're going into spoiler territory there. But uh, yeah, there's an extra bit that happens that involves Ben Affleck and Henry Cavill, and everybody. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I didn't stick around for the end, end credit scene. No, so. I left. I, 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 left <laughs> right I, I was hoping while you guys did. <laughs> uh, I, I heard from somewhere that it ruined the film, and so I stuck around, and I was thoroughly unimpressed. Well, it, do it doesn't ruin the film. There's just like no fucking point for it. Like, yeah, yeah. It was just like enough. that. That was it. I was expecting something a lot more. No, no. It was just like pointless. So it's like, yeah, why it did you even? I, no, I was pissed that I stayed that long for it. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Waste my time. No, I, I, I watched the doggy full, you know, the doggy bit. 
<laughs> yeah. And yeah. then it went into the main credits and I went, I am not staying to the end. And I just got up and left. And I, when I got up and looked around, the other three people that were in the cinema with me had already mm. gone. And I was actually <laughs> stuck there on my own the whole time. <laughs> They probably walked out in the middle of the film. Uh, <laughs> one, one, did, notice. one actually did walk out halfway through the film and never came back. That's funny. Hey. <laughs> what I'm gathering, this is on point with the uh, Quantum Mania in terms of box office right now, right? Oh. Uh, well, it's, 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 it's it very far behind uh, that mm. initial tracking yeah. right now. So um, it's, it's low Transformers at the beginning. The so the Oof. Thursday preview is 9.7 million. To put that in perspective, what we've seen the rest of this year's comic book releases, Guardians was 17.5 on Thursday. Ant-Man of the Wasp was 17.3 <laughs> on Thursday. Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse was like 17 million on Thursday. Yeah. Flash 9.7. Flash also had a Monday IMAX fan screening across the country mm -hmm. that, that is counted in that 9 million. Yeah, so I watched this on Wednesday. Though awful. It, it came out on Wednesday in the UK. Yeah, I'm always saying then is the Flash oh. having trouble keeping up with the rest of them. Huh? Yeah, I saw somebody. Hey. Else <laughs> so for yeah, comparison's is... sake, Black Adam opened in October or September of last year at seven point six million. Oh, geez. so <laughs> that's not it's, good. No, it's not. And people like if you look <laughs> at the when you look at like Deadline or whatever, they're trying to make comparisons. To, like, well, back in 2016. Uh, Doctor Strange opened up to this, and it's like, bro, like you can't fucking make those comparisons. <laughs> like, we are jumping through hoops to Why make this positive. They should have just shelved it. In, in 1950, when movies opened, yeah, 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 well, the argument with Cleopatra's been, well, Elizabeth Taylor. It was 1963 or whenever the fuck they made that film. For fuck's sake! And, and like, whenever we compare those Thursday preview nights to something before, basically 2019. It's kind of nonsensical because Thursday yeah. previews, they used to start at like 8 p.m. Eastern or something. Uh, and like, oh, everyone was excited. There's a couple showings. Now they start at like noon on a Thursday. Yeah. So many more showings and there's so much more hype for it. And this movie specifically, this should be something that's front loaded. This should be something <laughs> people were like waiting, got their tickets ready for the return of Michael Keaton, all these fucking cameos, nostalgia, blah, blah, blah. That's how this movie was sold. And there's just no excitement. It looks like it's going to be a 70, 75 million dollar opening. Week. And the cameras how, were bullshit. Uh, how well, yeah, they, 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 they were. Oh, they would. Uh, like, it, it was some of the cheapest. <laughs> Sorry, it was some of the cheapest uh, and most lousy nostalgia bait I've ever seen. Yep. It was. Just, oh, I thought you were going to yeah. say cheapest and lousy CG, but no, you're right. There's yeah. that too. Mm -hmm. There's that too. Yeah. yeah. That too. Remember yeah. when we'll everything was uh, in a post-COVID world. Well, that's yeah. that's now gone. As yeah, they, they can use the excuse. My my theater yeah. had like twenty five people in it, and this was like a four p.m. screening. And when I went to go see Across the Spider Verse, like my theater was pretty full. Yeah. In the UK, it came out on Wednesday, and I went to the nine thirty in the morning showing in the UK. Uh, I went to the ten thirty in the morning showing for Spider Verse. There were four people in my cinema for this. And there was about a third full for Spider Verse. Yeah, doing pretty well that movie. Far more enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Miles Morales movie. Yeah, it's very, it's doing very well. Yeah. So for all you guys that hated the Flash, I have something that will uh, black pill you even more. Uh, confirmed, Andy Muschietti, the guy who directed this, is directing oh, yeah. James Gunn's Brave Batman: Brave and the Bold. Yeah. Bold. yeah. So, I don't blame Andy for the failure of this movie. Mm. This movie has been so I'm fucked sorry. for like so long. I don't even think it's his fault. Th it's, this movie it's, seems really cobbled together. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, um, yeah. we yeah, don't like, know what's what's been taken out. I mean, there is so much stuff <laughs> that's been cut. There is probably two other movies here that, that so, can be made. Like to me, the opening sequence with the fucking baby shit, all that, like, whatever. But they made a, they put a big emphasis on how much like Barry's caloric intake matters and how much it affects him and like the energy levels and all this stuff. So I, I like, I'm looking at this setup. I'm like, obviously, this is going to play a very important role. They're spending so much time showing you exactly how he keeps track of this stuff that's got to have some ramifications down the road. They didn't fucking talk about it after the first like 15 minutes. It was just no, like comedy's sake. I, I, I just think there's a lot of I don't I, I think they used it for comedy, but I don't think that setup was for comedy's sake. I think there was purpose behind it that ended up not yes. playing a part at all mm -hmm. in what I agree. What I absolutely agree. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it that came like into it for a purpose. Yes. Yeah. 
I think, but I think that whole baby uh, hospital scene was their attempt to do Quicksilver in Days of Future yeah. Past, and it didn't <laughs> touch it. it I thought that's come hilarious. Anywhere remotely close to it. It was awful, it, man. That it was, CG was horrible. And it comes to Ben Affleck, and Ben Affleck is killing it in his oh, segment God. as, as oh, yeah. fucking Batman. Mm -hmm. Dude, and they actually used the gray and blue suit too, which was awesome to see. It was kind mm -hmm. of weird seeing it at ten in the morning, but yeah. yeah. Did, did anyone yeah. hear the thing? Remember that when one woman and uh, one woman has the spoiler alert, his lasso of truth all over the hands, and they're, yeah. they're rambling, and he's like, "Oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I, I'm, I, too, I'm too proud to ever say thank you to you." Yeah, I'm too proud to say thank you. <laughs> they, yes, they, my they, they, never allow it. <laughs> they, they refocus to someone else, and they're he's still rambling on the side. It, 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 you might not catch it because they, they tried to slip it under the rug there. Yeah, they but did. But Netflix Batman goes, oh, I, I, I would do, do way better if I just gave away all my money. Like, they, they, put, they pushed what? that yes. little yeah, 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 rug they, in there. I heard about that. They start, they start crapping on Batman when he starts talking about, you know. Yeah. I, I, was I was like, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. I was like, okay, well, I know what this movie is. a fascist. Okay. The, 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 all right. You guys uh, like the ego line? I thought it was cringe. No, oh, I, I, didn't, I didn't mind that at all. I didn't mind I, that at all. I was fine with Batman until he started talking. I was yeah, fine exactly. with riding around on the motorcycle and doing Batman shit. He was, he was he pretty awesome out. until he started talking and Wonder Woman showed up. Yeah, well, and, yeah. and the Flash is now a confirmed in cell. Yes, and, that, oh, yeah, yeah, that's that right. Too. It is <laughs> as, as cringe as that was, I fucking laughed out loud in the theater when so basically Again, we got the spoiler thing up. Sorry, we didn't put it up. Start talking about Wonder Woman, but uh, basically, right. wait, what, Batman... wait are, we, are we done with intros? To... <laughs> no, no, we haven't. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> anyway, right, we're good. Let, get, so, let Ryan finish this and you know. Batman's <laughs> tracking this guy down because he's got some fucking suitcase and shit that's really dangerous and they're about to slip and fall. Wonder Woman saves them and gives them over the lasso of truth. And while they're still standing there, <laughs> Batman's like, my ego's too big to actually say thank you to someone. And you're like, what the fuck? And you realize lasso truth's around him. And he's like desperately trying to get it off. So then Barry tries to help him. And as soon as Barry grabs it, he's like, I know what sex is, but I've never had it. And <laughs> It, yeah. and it was like random it, it was, like he knows it exists <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know sex is something that exists but i've never experienced it and it was so fucking weird and awkward and you cringe. Have to the I, I laughed out loud man when that happened yes so when the lasso gets on you just start blurting out your own your secrets that's Apparently. see that's what annoys me is like that's not yeah. technically how the lasso is supposed to no. work it doesn't force you to no say you, stuff. if you're questioned <laughs> and you're exactly compelled, you're compelled to tell i the know truth. And yes. so yeah. that's what annoyed me. Like all the introductions, the and then we'll start officially reviewing the movie. Yeah, yeah I don't, all we're the nerds, Gary. We, we have to. We yeah. have to we qualify what things do. That's <laughs> we our do, job. We do. But yeah. all the potentially enjoyable things in this film were totally undermined for yeah. things like that. Anyway. <laughs> what did I just say? Wrap it up. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> you don't need. We're not spoiling that. Quarter Black Garrett is here, and I didn't forget you. This yeah, time. you didn't forget me. I, I was the last, did. and I didn't get forgotten. Uh, yeah, I'm here. I didn't get to watch it because I was on the road driving all the way here. Uh, but I did get all of the spoilers, so I know. Yeah, because you this. edited the video. <laughs> yeah. uh, I didn't watch it. It didn't look good at all. It was uh, ass. It was total ass. Did you, what did you just call me? No, no. Uh, it was it was ass. Something you got to see a lot of Ezra Miller's ass. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then, um, so ass in it, uh, it's, it's too much booty. <laughs> Wow. Just told me to stop talking about the film. Don't talk about spoilers. <laughs> what about spoilers, Gary? It's do as I say, That's not do as I do, Shad. <laughs> By that I mean his, his butt uh, spoiled the movie a little bit. Back up. They were too literal with the flash. Yeah, it was really. Uh, what's up, comics? Hey, how's it going, Gary? Um, resurrected my um, current year with Ian K channel, which I abandoned like a um, infant at a fire station for seven months. So. More content is coming out, which I'm pretty happy about. Uh, so it's been a very productive week. I saw The Flash. Uh, we're definitely going to have some interesting conversations about it. Uh, yes, we are. Ryan's going to defend it. And we're all going to shit on it. That's pretty much how it's going to go. <laughs> no, I, Ryan, <laughs> might, Ryan might have an ally. Yeah, it, it's not that I think it's a great movie or anything like that. But I, no. I found myself enjoying it more than I thought I would. Even mm -hmm. despite yeah, so having massive say, fucking issues. He didn't mm -hmm. say, I don't think it's a good movie. He said, great. That's the easy thing to say. <laughs> I don't think it's a good movie. I think it's We're a mid, I think it's a mid movie. Yeah. I gave it a yeah. five. Yes. I think it's a very mid movie. <laughs> it's not the worst thing you ever. You have to turn your brain off to watch it. Shad, they gave it a five. Yeah. 
I I would say that he <laughs> turned my brain off for me. Well, I said I gave it a five, if I'm being real, but I gave it a six because of uh, this. The Keaton was good, and Affleck was good, and Sasha Kale was good. Yeah, I agree. That's good. I um. Okay, we'll get to that. Exude a goo. Hi. Well, hello, Gary. Um, it's nice to be back home. Dallas was amazing, and um, I did watch this movie. And as a normie, I gave it a five. Average, very average. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, it was just enough to be funny, and then that that for me was what made it good. But then the the whole the beginning for me ruined it. And then I just had low expectations. But that's a normie perspective. Normie. We got to get you to nerd school. You, you I mean, to, I'm, I'm slowly learning. Two out of ten minimum. Next I got to go watch it again next week with my mates because they've been abroad this week. And they said, Kaya, yeah. let's go watch it. I got to watch it again with my kid when I get back, dude. So I really don't want it. <laughs> but oh, well. Uh, we've got uh, Mahler here filling Hello. in. Hello, thanks, buddy. I mean, how you doing? I'm like, what do I do? I go talk about how I saw the Flash. That's what everyone else is doing. So. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the Flash. Oh my God, what a great movie to represent the era we're in—a fucking <laughs> blizzard of noise and bullshit to try and distract you from how crap it is underneath. Hey, look, it's all your favorite shit, and there's colors. Look at those. Around. I don't know if you guys caught the tweet from the director that said, like, it's supposed to look like shit. I heard yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is, I, I expected nothing and I was sad after seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't expect a lot from me, but holy shit. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> but also, hi. Hi, I, I, I messaged you as soon as I got back. I'm all you're gonna hate this. <laughs> <laughs> this movie, dude. That's really weird because I was gonna text him and say exactly the same, but no, I just you, like I know what he thinks of the Snyder Cut. And I'm like, if you don't like Snyder Cut, he's really gonna fucking hate this. Okay, it's pretty easy to surmise. Uh, and our very special guest, uh, you know, people say we don't support independent creators around mm-hmm. here. I don't know where that comes from. It's crazy. Weird. We have mm-hmm. the literature devil. Welcome, sir. Hello, hello. Thanks for having me on. Nice Sorry. colors, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, I had to make you watch Flash. So uh, this is kind of a bad weekend for you, pal. <laughs> this is FNP. Uh, I've well, seen worse. I've seen way. <laughs> I have. I have to. I have to. For Marvel, I've seen worse. I oh, actually, yeah. Yeah. most it's things hurt. don't. To be fair, most things don't have Ezra Miller. So this was a little extra bull, extra bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the Flash, uh, but the um, Flash is great, fantastic in the comics. Like, he's really good in the comics. Uh, he once beat Superman in a in a gun rights debate, which is pretty awesome. The the movie, however, very different character, very different. And uh, there's again, there are some things I enjoyed about the movie, but uh, I, you know, as I said before, <laughs> five, five minutes in, I think my my eyes had gained special muscle mass because of how much they were rolling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was just oh my goodness it's cringe after cringe like this it began with cringe and it's like right out the gate it's a full-blown yeah. cringe with ezra miller and they're talking about a sandwich or something yeah it's like, like how oh, gay can we make this fucking yeah. opening one minute oh yeah the, the sandwich was, thing was so bad man oh you know, I, 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 there's a, sandwiches the, the moment Did that they, they have this com- this opening conflict with the sandwich, I was like, maybe I can just say I'm sick. I can't really make it this Friday. <laughs> I missed the flash. I'm going to walk out of this theater. <laughs> <laughs> this is two DC movies First now play. that have revolved around the start of a sandwich. A yes. sandwich, yes. Birds of Prey and now Feed these writers. Oh, Someone yeah. Feed these right. writers. Give them some money. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Christina Hodson the same help writer. Write this? The same yeah, writer. The same Holy writer. shit. She did. She wants sandwiches. She's a hungry bitch. Well, that's all. You know what? It, 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 it's uh, I'm just going off of observation here. Anytime a woman starts writing anything superhero, they have food. to inject food. food into it for some fucking reason. <laughs> right? What you know? I don't know if it's because they're hungry, because of uh, binging and purging. I'm not sure, but that's uh, why Gail Simone invented fridging. Well, <clears> that's <throat> what she spends most she of the time. Yeah. 
If she treated the customers right as well know. as she treated her refrigerator, or maybe she does. If you flip that around, can I just say, like that fridging, you know, criticism is such a load of bull crap. I can't stand people whenever they bring up, oh, they got fridged. It's like, where's your defensive Uncle Ben then? Why are you being? They only it only ever goes one way, and it's a perfectly legitimate writing technique if you execute it well. Mm -hmm. uh, no, that's how, that's how Gail got in the industry. She mm -hmm. she was she trolled people in forums. Yeah, that's how she uh, got into the industry and destroyed Ron Mars's career. Really paved the way for what what all the SJWs did in Marvel years ago to get into the industry is like start calling start calling creatives racist and they'll give you a fucking job. Just go, I'm yeah. not racist. I'll hire you. Oh my god! That one of the biggest problems really with the uh, good old Lord of the Rings, Sauron. He got fridged just so a sealed door could have that little bit of the beginning. It's ridiculous. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, look at me. I'm, I'm important now. Throws the, doesn't uh, need uh, to throw uh, the ring in. What a loser. What are, off gets fridged. What are, the, what are the key things about the fridging, mm -hmm. though, Mauler? Is that if, if it happens to a man, it's not fridging. And no. It's only yeah, fridging. It's, 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 a woman, it's acceptable. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> things are working out great for the comic industry. They now, uh, there was a hashtag out there comics broke me. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's a and, bunch of whiny people on there. I've seen it, yeah. Right? And they're talking about getting fair wages. Um, uh, you haven't been getting fair wages. The fact that you're getting fucking paid for any of the shit you write isn't fair to anybody. anybody <laughs> yes. you don't get money. Yeah. You need to make money, then you get wages. You should pay us to fucking read it. Yeah, you owe me money, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way I see it. Welcome, literature devil. We'll talk about comics a little well you're, and you're right about flash flash should have been one of the better superhero movies ever if they would have cast it right and so on and so forth but it's a fun character you could have done a lot of killer stuff with, that we saw with quicksilver yep. and days of future past you could have times that by 10 with flash uh and uh they didn't because we got basically a patchwork movie that's been in sh been reshot uh minimum three times three times it was supposed to be out a year ago it's had six different release dates, uh, six different directors, I believe eight writers, eight effing writers, a lot of writers. including, <laughs> Ezra, Miller, Ezra, including Miller, Ezra Miller, Ezra Miller, Ezra Miller, and, Morrison, and they used part of their script because they wanted uh, to do a Back to the Future. Wasn't the initial release date 2019? Yes. Yeah. yeah so this, oh, no, 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 no. It was earlier. 2018. It was, early. it was 2018. This movie got My this movie bad. got announced before Batman v Superman Dead, came yes. out in theaters. Oh my God. 14. It got announced. Has it, it been that because, long? Yeah. It was supposed to be initially. It was supposed to be a Flash and Cyborg kind yes. of light yep. movie. Well, it started as it like Flash, then, then Flash and Cyborg. Mm -hmm. You're right there, and uh, dude, they were they, they they were courting, and they almost got Robert Zemeckis. To direct the flash <laughs> and oh. there was a well that would have definitely have killed him <laughs> so he probably just looked at wb and was like mm, no, no he dodged a bullet gonna pass that, that was kind of the most wild thing to me is when you look at this it's it's clearly cobbled together even uh even the end scene where uh where you see bruce wayne show up at the end like that was a. That's, <laughs> well, I, mean, I, I just said when you see Bruce Wayne show up in the end. That's all I said. Okay, that's true. That's true. That's true. Just in case, I wasn't yeah, sure. Bruce Wayne. All right, but anyway, by the way, like, that's the bit that, I laughed the most at in the film. Like that was a that was a clear reshoot. It was. Um, it somebody was. pointed out, like I, I didn't notice it at first, but somebody pointed it out. They're like that. That clearly Ezra looks completely different in it than he did like yes, a minute did. earlier because that was a reshoot. You got to wonder if that how how long ago that was shot. I'm well, thinking and if, months, maybe. And it we, gun film, can I say what Film Threat said about that or not? Yeah. Are we too too early in spot? We, we, well, well, we can't. We can't say without I saying. Say who, yeah, yeah. I want to. I want to acknowledge that Grace Randolph was right. She was right. She oh was, no, no, I'm yeah. not saying that name. Um, Apparently, no. that was actually meant to be Michael Keaton that yeah, comes out of the of the yes, uh, it was. car at the end. No, no, really. Dude, I already said this, that. There's photos of it, like when they filmed it. It already it, was. It, yeah, so it was supposed to be that, and that's also like, all right, I guess Henry Cavill was supposed to be there as well for that part, dressed as Clark Kent. Yeah. Um, like, th there's a lot of this movie that could have potentially set for future stuff because, uh, so what I thought watching this movie and watching how the resolution happened is, how the fuck were they ever going to use Michael Keaton in Batgirl? Because he was supposed to be in that movie before it got shit canned. Different universe. Yes. 
So I, I guess it could be different universe. It could be anything at this point. But um, like, that's what the question I had. If this was the way it was supposed to be, how the fuck does that make any sense for that to him to be in that movie? But yeah, that's I I totally like the wildest thing narratively was, connected so or anything. right now. Like, and, it's so all cobbled together as everything was. That's why I was surprised that I was able to not fucking hate it and just kind of sit back and yeah. I, again, I would I would watch this movie again before I watch Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantumania, oh, Thor: Love yeah. Thunder, Black yeah. Panther, uh, Multiverse of Madness, uh, anything other than Guardians of the Galaxy that's come out from Marvel in the last year, year and a half. Not a high bar for sure. But yeah, I at least um, had fun watching it. And I'd watch this before I watch Black I, Adam. I'd watch like, this before I watch Guardians again all day. I, I, I think Guardians is a better movie than this, but yeah. Um, Wait, you think so? Flash is better than Guardians? Yeah. Has? Yeah. Mm. Oh. I didn't I didn't like I I thought Guardians was very right. fucking yeah. mid. Like really fucking mid. Yeah. I, and, I didn't and, think and it was, this was just elevated because I like I Michael, you know, I am I skewed awesome. towards Batman. Awesome. You know, I'm a massive Batman fan. So this is this is a mid film. No doubt it's a five out of ten all day, every day at best. But Michael Keaton, Ben Affleck, you know, yeah. they, they they tip it over for me. It's a Man. lot more fun too. I mean Compared to Guardians, which is a very dour film, and that's a film yeah. I honestly don't want to watch again. I would rather watch this again, and I have no interest in watching this again. But right. I at least I, had I, fun watching I, it. I found the, it enjoyable. The Zod bit was really good because I mean I won't ruin it at the moment. We'll get into it. But the Zod, I enjoyed the Zod bit in as much as it was there was a very specific thing that was going to happen, regardless right. of, of of what was going to uh, transpire. Mm -hmm. And and I liked the way that actually they actually committed to that. Yeah, I thought um, that was well done. I so thought I, that I did, Supergirl was going right. to be a Mary Sue. Uh, she was not. I thought nope. that was what not they nice. were going with it. I was really happy oh to see that that gosh. wasn't the case. <laughs> I can't <laughs> wait to get Mary into Stewart. the details on this. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is a bit. This is cool. Uh, right, 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 right. <laughs> Hey, I got a first topic. Don't I let this be the film that breaks us, Morty. You, uh, you guys have been complimenting Batman's suit, all right? There's, there's an image I've dropped in these things. So we have something to work with here, okay? Uh, so that the public can see. Well, they, we, we, we like the color scheme of gray yeah, and blue. I, I didn't say it was a good <laughs> suit. I just said it. They Dude, used the I color scheme. I, I, I like the the part where he's on the motorcycle and you yeah. just see the two of uh, the, two, I like the color, the 2d animation Cape flying around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once you get to the exoskeleton and all this shit, it looks like garbage. Yeah, this, this looks yeah, awful. What the fuck? Like, is this something from somewhere that I'm not familiar with? Why is he got no. like 3d printed it's, hexagons it's, on him? It's supposed to it's like a remind corset. you of Frank Miller's dark Knight returns in Why? some way. Cause like, there was like, exoskeleton stuff, and, but not like this. BDS not designed like was this. better. BVS was far better. Yes, it was. Was yes, it was. Yes, I agree. Batman suit, the the better Batman suit that actually harkened back to the Dark Knight Returns. Mm -hmm. And then they, every fucking time that every movie has to innovate, so they change it and they make it, they add little pads on there and it's got little tech. It's, and then well, it has more figure. armor it and more armor. It used to be for like, action fuck, figures, stop. right? And like, you get that to a certain extent, but like but this, this, what is this? this is I don't understand sense. all the stuff below the chest. That doesn't make any sense. To it me. makes no like, sense at all. The color, I like the gray. I like the blue. Like it's kind of like this off color blue. It's, it looks it's like not shit. super bright. I like the color. I like the cowl and, and everything else. Well, the like, cowl's the same as, yeah. It's BBS. fucking lame. Uh, yeah, this, this threw me off completely when I saw this shit. I was like, what the fuck? Why would they have committed to this instead of, because I, I, I like the colors too. Baller, but... what, what I think is weird is that it's daytime. Like, yeah. it, like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. mean, it, keep the fact that it's 10 a.m. in the morning does, like, I don't know how I'd feel about any of the bad suits at 10 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, it, it does. It is a weird choice. This, this is meant to give him uh, extra st uh, strength and support because of the things that I, he's I, trying I to pull off. Under the cloth. It looks like shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does. It, it, it's not. The, Honestly, the exoskeleton is not, not the good. The exoskeleton I saw at the Toyota factory looked better than this. <laughs> 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 you know what would be cool, though? If this was under some cloth, so you had yes, a cloth suit, yes, 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 yes. Yes. and you saw some kind of exoskeleton thing, but you don't see the, all of it. Yes. If this on top is like, he looks like he's wearing a corset on top of his bat suit and it just looks fucking weird yeah when he's on the motorcycle you really can't tell all the detail yeah, and it looks like lost. the classic motorcycle you know, bat suit I want to once, mm. yeah you know that motorcycle right now once, once yeah. he's off of it you see it and it, this like i said this shot looks awful 
as as Why as, w- as with most of them. Uh, yeah. Ryan, I'm trying to get an answer to your question. So we'll see if we get one uh, about, uh, do you even remember what question you asked? Um, I do not, no. That's okay. Uh, the question was, how does Michael Keaton's Batman fit into Batgirl? Like, I, I, oh, I don't that, know. Oh, the, the oh I mean, was, what, what if Batgirl I, is set in his universe? I watched the I heard about that. animated well, movie where it showed how Batman got into Batgirl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the killing joke. The <laughs> killing joke animated series. Yeah, that was that was, that was not an interesting good. choice. Was movie. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> that was bad. I mean, it's good. I mean, Bruce Bruce Wayne Wayne is I, Harvey I Weinstein. Would, if I was him, I would fuck Barbara Golden. But it's just, it's just yeah. weird. You know. You know. I can't believe he abused his his authority position <laughs> like that. <laughs> Bruce Dick Grayson's gonna be. Uh, yeah. use a, I think he abused a lot of authority positions with Batgirl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. D- yes. D- Dick Grayson will he'll get over it when he realizes she can't move anymore. So. <laughs> and besides the Batgirl film, she was black and she had a trans best mate, so it was clearly a universe that was totally fucking made up. <laughs> well, actually, well, if Keaton was supposed to still be alive at the end of this one, then maybe he would have taken on Batgirl. That would have been my guess. Yeah, they're supposed to be doing like a. a- Batman Beyond type thing where yeah, he's yeah. going to be the mentor to Batgirl rather it's, than Terry so, McGinnis. So, so a, a question I, uh, something interesting I thought to me was like, this is Flashpoint, but way bastardized. We knew oh. that that was going to be the case from the moment we heard they were doing Keaton, from the moment we realized they were doing Supergirl, uh, right. Sasha Kaye, instead of, you know, Superman, Michael Keaton's Batman instead of Thomas Wayne's Batman. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, it's impossible to separate those things because they use that as the framework for the story and then twisted it all around. Um, but I was wondering how they were going to do Keaton. And I was wondering, is this just going to be a dude who, Oh, you know, I've gave up because the city is too shitty and I wasn't doing any good and I quit or whatever. And so I was a little surprised when they were just like, no, nah, <laughs> yeah. they don't need me anymore. Everything's fine yeah. in Gotham. Like, crime's yeah. fixed. We're I cleaned it up. Yeah, I was also my job. And yet, and yet, and yet they still made him a washed up loser even after having yep. achieved his goal. I He's like a hobo losing a mansion. Motherfucker needed to be convinced to save Earth. I yeah. couldn't I couldn't stand that. Yeah. One, I thing, I didn't that. Like, one well, thing I didn't like was that when they actually went to go rescue what the Akara, and he's like, Oh, it's not Clark, let's go. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> I know yeah. you don't I leave know. this girl here. It's like, oh yeah, it's not Clark, so it's gonna leave her here to die. Like, come Batman's on, Batman. Famous for just leaving people behind. That's uh Fine. great. Fuck but yeah, it's it, it's Hollywood Park right. the course for just crapping on the, our beloved heroes. And uh, this is a, a, an actual scene where they could have given Batman a happy ending, and yet he's still this loser. And they make him a joke with the introduction as well. Like, ah, it's I a fundamental it. disrespect for the character and misunderstanding of what the character stands for. That's why we keep seeing these things mm-hmm. fall apart because they're not based on what the actual character's morals he's, and what their point is. Well, didn't didn't Andy Muschietti? I guess that's how you say his last name. Mushkitty. Mushkitty. I say Mushkitty. Uh, come uh-huh. also came out and said, "Well, we don't want to adapt the comic book. Why would we want to do that?" He said, "We didn't want to use Thomas good. Wayne because we didn't want to. Nobody just wants to go and see a direct adaptation of a comic book. Nobody yes. wants yeah, to see do. Um, bull Dude. fucking shit." Hey, hey, who here would have liked to see Jeffrey Dean Morgan as fucking Thomas Wayne in an Hello. actual Fantastic. Flashpoint movie? Come on. Wait, yeah. Thomas Wayne with red eyes and guns. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, we're doing oh, the yeah. with guns. Fuck right. oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> also, like, I, well, one thing about the the oh. Batman in this one was I thought was pretty. Oh, that's a shocker. <laughs> a little interesting. I don't even know what that shocker. <laughs> it's a shocker. No idea. It's. Uh, uh, I it's don't know if I just said the end word in sign language. Tank. Yeah. Like what if what if Batman what if they actually did give Bruce Wayne like a wife and kid and then they have some conflict of I know we're being invaded but uh, I, and that, should I does she stay behind and protect his wife and kid and Michelle Pfeiffer off? you know you have like a, a little conflict Ooh, there. Yeah. Oh, oh, I can, it, okay. it, it, it right. would have worked it oh, would have yeah no, literature devil is onto something here because hey, it would have no, worked wait, before you go he's right and I want you to get to that point but I just wanted to point out that like, multiple scoopers said Michelle Pfeiffer was going to be in this movie Ooh. oh well. Maybe she I, was. It would have. Who knows? It, like if she was. 
narratively, it would have had a really stronger impact if Bruce Wayne actually had a really great life and he showed that he's still willing to risk everything to save the world because that's what he who he is. That's, that's the hero he, does. he is. Yeah, I certainly, say, yeah, like if you need to justify why you wouldn't join them, you can throw in a couple of different ideas. One of them being maybe he would be like, I'm a fucking super old retired dude. Why I might make the situation worse Why rather than better maybe years? yeah and then and then what you have the stupid flashes be like dude like we're gonna try and save the world we need someone like you and then you could be like all right i don't i don't buy this like hobo clown needing to be convinced when the world is falling apart when they explain like he's like oh so this zod guy is coming to destroy earth and they're like yeah we could use your help and he's like pass nah. <laughs> I, <said nothing. laughs> I was so confused because i was like how are they going to convince him if he's just a gay and then later on he's just like i'll do it yeah, like most, like, oh, most iterations okay. of Batman, like most iterations of Batman I've seen from at least some of the movies and the comics, it, he would be like the first guy to go like, "Yeah, I'm I'm taking on Zod. I yeah. don't care how old I am." Easily, mm -hmm. yeah. He, they did the Big Lebowski again for some reason. Was that like, an attempt was, at the oh. hero's journey to be like, "I deny my the quest"? That's, maybe yeah. like it's a very it was a call attempt. and then accepting the call show, but like you're supposed to have he, reason. Uh, you're yeah, supposed to just right. randomly do it. You're supposed to have a reason to make that make sense, not just no because I'm supposed to say no. Well, but I, 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 I wonder. I also, called him. I, I also wonder because obviously he was fucking listening the entire time to like hmm. what they were doing and paying attention to what was going on. So, like, I I don't I don't know. Maybe he wanted to fucking know something first. But yeah, as you would imagine that Batman, regardless of how old he is, would uh, jump at the opportunity. I was say, he, maybe I maybe he, he wanted to make sure these fucking people. Dude, would you, Batman you always decided. plays his cards close to his. He's always going to be spying yeah. on them anyway. They're in this fucking back cave. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, but if he but come if he didn't off as him throwing the lightsaber over his shoulder, but if he didn't fucking care, why would he? Why would he be listening to him? Because they're in his back cave. Why but why does he care? He if, he's, if he's if he's fine because with the world they're in his back cave. That's his shit. Yeah, but that's why he cares. Why would he care if he didn't care? Because it's his back cave. Uh, they broke into his back cave using flash power. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah but there are a couple of retards, so I don't think he was particularly worried. I don't that's why you should be worried, ass. <laughs> and and no, yeah, you have to fall back. If he's resigned, if he's resigned to lay on assumptions, though. See, that's Correct. the problem. Yeah, that's yeah. shitty storytelling when you have to. Yeah, like, yeah, well, I'm yeah. guessing. You know, I don't know. Uh, well, yeah, absolutely, dude. Because like I recently rewatched them before this, uh, Batman eighty nine and Returns. And it's just like I'm. Um, Maybe I don't know if this is the controversial take for the group, but it's just like that, that that's more of a uh like a photocopy of his Batman to me. It's not it's not Michael Keaton's Batman up to one hundred percent. That's like some attempt to bad. jangle him in front of me. Which it worked. My favorite parts of this film are when he is fighting as Batman and he's solving problems as Batman. Um so I you know they allowed I, to be they allowed him to be I awesome. have a heart. <laughs> so that's good. I, I never he thought was... it was eighty nine ninety two Batman. Mm -mm. I never got that impression at all. Yeah. Now I got this uh, an alternate version, mm. an alternate reality version of that, which is what Mahler said a copy. Copy, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it was, it, and it was, yeah, it was cool to see him jumping around because we couldn't see that back in 89 and 92 yeah. because they were limited to what they could do. We didn't mm -hmm. see, you know, Keaton fight a lot. But, and that was cool. But like, this is all shit you can watch on YouTube in about a year. You can also, yeah. Like, yeah. The thing to me was, I actually like, all of his fucking fight scenes in that like silo it was all super dark because they wanted you to they didn't want you to pay attention to how fucking bendy the cgi michael keaton was <laughs> yeah. um, like it was it was cool to see that with the fucking music playing and seeing him ha be fucking badass but it also was like that was probably that and the scene on top back in the snow with supergirl in her in her medical gown were like the two parts where the CGI actually bothered me the most. Yeah, the, the CGI <laughs> like, gown business was... The, the slow oh. motion shot in the trailer where she goes past Batman and punches she grabs that, the bullet and yeah. it's literally like a video how game about from the time she? Uh, how about the time she scissor kicked with her little smock on? <laughs> how'd, you, <laughs> how'd you do that? How'd you do that and not get a big old beaver shot? I'm not really yeah. sure. <laughs> well, hey, if we're talking about that scene, the best part of the movie where Batman punches Ezra Miller... That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's just, yeah. He's Ezra, depowered yeah. Ezra is just like running through the back. Yeah, he gets punched by Batman on accident. Yeah. <laughs> but when he's, but even when he's come down to the uh, the kitchen and he's just smacking Ezra Miller all over the place, That's I was good. laughing. I was laughing at that. Just well, to see, get I was, really get was, up and get funny. fucking smacked in the face again and get knocked fucking down. I laugh. But then, the Ezra Miller uh, in pain. 
But then they made him act like look like a joke whenever he went up against the one with the powers. And then when he mm. went forward with the broom and he just head first into the thing, where yeah. classic Batman, he would roll and recover. And so to me, they were just making him look like a joke and I was hating it. And and re in regards to the cool scenes where he does kick ass, my takeaway is like you would get more enjoyment and satisfaction by watching those scenes in isolation as YouTube clips than yes. connected to this yes. dog crap film. Yeah, I, agree with that, yeah. I saw it more as like a drunken master fight because it was clearly sourced up. <laughs> oh, yeah. well. so, so to me, it was kind of like a drunken master fight. That was what it well, was. Yeah, were they trying to like, oh, oh, he's he's a little out of step. He's a little older. Mm. He's getting back in the suit. That's why he's kind of messed up a little bit. I thought it was yeah, like yeah, some other guy. I, I don't know. I thought he was, he failed because he's like a bum who lives in a mansion. So I thought he was like, yeah. oh, I suck. He's an artist. He's not a bum. He's an artist. <laughs> <laughs> Although, also, I thought he it would paints. be pretty cool. I thought it would be pretty cool if he if he was Thomas Wayne. And how interesting would that be if Thomas Wayne was explaining to them how you know the multiverse crap works? And then mm. later on, he's like, he has, comes to the one conclusion that he, he, he'll always end up in failure. And so it'll be Flash versus Thomas Wayne Batman. And Thomas Wayne Batman shoots Ezra Miller 600,000 times or something like that. I mean, I think pretty cool. There's a no, lot of, well, one of the things that's so cool about Flashpoint is when Barry discovers it's Thomas Wayne and you realize yes. he just changed things a little bit and that Bruce is the one that got killed in the alley mm. and that Thomas is Batman, that Martha's Joker, all this stuff. Yeah. Is the journey that you see Thomas Wayne go through mm -hmm. um, and that he, you know, sacrifices himself to save his alternate reality yes. son bruce and he gives mm -hmm. the note to barry and barry brings it back yeah. to bruce and like yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. incredible in this one it was obviously they didn't use that they used kind of a different message which to me started with uh ben affleck's bruce wayne carried over to michael keaton's bruce wayne and eventually barry has to come to the to accept it as well that hey, all these things that happen, these people that are taken from us, this pain we go through, all of it makes us who we are and it's part mm -hmm. of us. And even if you think you should change that, you can't and you shouldn't because wow, that's, that's, who wait, you are. that's really familiar, that's familiar to a movie we just, we just saw. saw a couple weeks ago <laughs> about Miles Morales. And you know what? It's also well, going to be very familiar if they stick with Kang uh, and his motivation. If you guys know, I'm not even sure I buy that the movie supports that position. Though, if well, you really it, think about it what happens, at the end. well, and this and this is well, and I think that. that that's what the that's what it's supposed to be. I think what throws it off to me is that even after going through all this, after Barry fucking tries to reverse time, doesn't work, has to face all these different things, the fucking other Barry, blah blah blah, and he goes back to set things right or set things wrong, really, with his mom. He still fucking tries to change something to free his dad. And like yes. after all of that, like that's the part that really irritated me because after doing all that shit and realizing I can't change anything, I have to leave it the way it was. He still tried to change something. And I thought he was going to get off with no ram fucking ramifications. And then it's but like, he did oh, have well, it did have ramifications yeah. though. It did have ramifications. It's, it's it did, not but he still sh but he still shouldn't have done it after. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, but yeah. that's the whole that's anything. the whole thing, isn't it? The end is like you you did a thing, Barry. And and because you did a thing, now we've got George fucking Clooney. Mm. Well, we we are spoiling fully then. <laughs> yeah, we're in. We're in. Like, I got something to say about the whole overall narrative thing. Doesn't look like a lot of people are going to. On I, that on that Bruce Wayne <laughs> scene, right? I yeah, thought it was fucking yes. hilarious and indicative <laughs> of the breakneck pace that he so very casually accepts the the from like the future, the past, different timelines, and the and that yes. he just starts explaining how it is like seriously. He's just like, oh hey, two flashes. Yeah, so this is my pasta, and this is time, and you know, just yeah, just thought I'd let I, you guys I, know how this works. <laughs> and that explanation was complete dog crap. It was just goblin goop, is insane. pseudo oh, bull I, crap. I, I, to try I and it was better than half of the thing. other fucking time travel nonsenses we've had, to be honest with you. Why? Because it was like time is more of an intersection than a straight line. Yeah. Why? Yeah, why is that? Why that I, I, thought, I just thought that made more sense because no, I because agree. One with you of guys. the things that we do, we, one of the things that we do when we go to time travel is you change something, you create a branch. Mm -hmm. That's what we do, isn't it? You create a, a separate, another timeline. And then he created right. another timeline, and, a time, and that that's been like sort of established. So to me, it kind of made sense that actually, when you do go, well, makes sense is maybe too strong. But I, I thought, I thought, okay, I could get yeah, on board with sense. this idea at least that you're going, when you if you're, if you're going go back, you, you theory, pivot the time. And it, no, no, it basically, it's an incursion on on the past and the future. That's what they said. Yes. That's, yes. that's basically what he said. Yeah. Spaghetti theory. Yeah, you go yeah. back in time and change Spaghetti something, theory. and it changes yeah. everything that ever happened somehow.
It's yeah, like, I, uh, I actually, I see, I hated that uh, because I I'm, hated a fan of time, I'm, I'm a fan of time travel and I actually love the, the physical, uh, sorry, the, in physics, there are three main theories of time travel that people will speculate and I love the science behind it. And that's why the standard time travel tropes about branching stuff, it's actually based off of the fundamental theories of how it would work. The theory that they tried to spit out in the film is complete nonsense it's like it's not founded on anything logical it's like that's not how it would work well, but, so, it, but if he just went back thing. in time then we wouldn't have uh, michael keaton you can, <laughs> you can write it so that he went further <laughs> back yes. right as, as seriously like the way i would have had it as a really quick fix is he does what he wants he's looking around and then uh whatever flash evil flash bumps into him and he goes whoa and hits like three different timeline things hmm. knocks things out of the way and we're like oh what just happened and then we find out like through all the damage he just did when he fell around in that room it's caused michael keaton batman it's caused this it's caused that that to me would make a lot more sense than you've changed all of history's events dramatically it's like really but most things are the same actually you can head cannon that though well, because he um, did knock him out in, in, well in, no but the no, movie says that you know the reason this happened is one change pivots the whole timeline well, well, Mahler, correct me if i'm wrong this his what barry did created the multiverse Oh, actually dude, there nice. is no there is a line there he says you created a multiverse by what you did yes. and I was good like, job what? barry and well and uh, this is what i will say in flash more of this shit in in flash point right the comic uh basically what happens is barry goes back to change time and save his mom yeah to save yeah. his mom and when he does that it doesn't just affect that it has ramifications on everything it yes. affects basically effect. the space-time continuum and everything's a little different in varying ways right um so I, I guess it does kind of go along with that point that it's not traditional time travel. Um, because like because it, 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 okay, sorry. Bruce, Bruce it, it, Wayne's uh, parents dying happens before Barry's mum gets killed. Yeah. Right. And in, and, and in and Flashpoint, Superman, he goes back to save his mum and he saves his right. mum. However, instead of everything. Bruce's parents dying, it's Bruce that dies. Right. And instead and, of and, instead of Clark landing in the middle of Kansas, he lands in Metropolis, which is why yeah, the government gets to him right away yeah, and hides yeah. him forever. So it like it has kind of that is kind of the way it is in the comic book, I suppose. But, but, but wait, I, yeah. in the animation, because I watched the animation, the explanation in the animation was way better than what they did in this film. And it was, I think it was reverse flash. He says, when you break the sound barrier, you get a sonic boom. When you break the time mm -hmm. barrier, you get a time boom, right. and that mm -hmm. ripples throughout all time, right. breaking things and restructuring it. To me, that that is That's a better, much yeah. more thematic explanation to explain the everything being, than this whole you you change one thing in the past and then you break reality. It's like, well, what? And so, uh, are yeah, you ever gonna it. are you ever gonna please somebody though with with time travel? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, are you? Okay, yeah, all right. Apart from Back right. to the Future. No, no. Pre right. Best, best time there's, travel there's, film. There's, predestination. Go watch Predestination. The whole best show. time travel film ever. Primer as well. About it with a doctor in a little blue box for the most part was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Who <laughs> <laughs> manages it? Yeah. Um, but he knows that he's. He, he, right. we, we got we got fixed points in time, and then we got fluid fluid time with doctor. No, no, I, I can accept. I can accept wibbly wobbly timey wimey better. Who knew the wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff was just spaghetti? Yeah, I mean, yeah there you go. It's yeah, just spaghetti. That's, what, that's what Michael Keaton said. It's answering all the hard hitting questions. <laughs> oh. They all die. Yes. As, 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 okay. like. There's a reality that does die in this that yeah, one yeah. flash was actually trying to save, and another flash basically says, "Screw it all, they can all die." Hey, I needed a, you know. Dad, it was the reality where, where where Bruce actually solved all of Gotham's problems. <laughs> 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 like one flash was so desperate to save Batman and save you know Supergirl that he tried a thousand times, and he was the villain. <laughs> oh, he tried it more than a thousand. times times he, yeah. he tried for decades, hundreds of thousands billions, if not millions, millions of, times. of times hey how'd you like them ripping off king theoden scene with uh since we're full on in the spoilers with batman what when he goes ride with me no <laughs> and so it begins no is this is the time we draw swords <laughs> no when he's when he you says, when, no he says when, when they kill oh, all the urukai when he says <laughs> when, when he said want to get nuts 
How about when uh, when uh, a character is dying and he said, I, "I've already brought you back once," and he's like, "Yeah, we did, kid." Yeah, uh, we yeah. Him back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Although, I, I do want to see a cut of Fade in, in Lord of the Rings going. Aragorn, you want to get nuts? Let me get nuts. <laughs> right out, get Aragorn. So one thing that I, there's a lot like in this because you're like these alternate things. It's so easy to like come up in your head something that would be fucking awesome. When Zod was talking to Supergirl about how he found Clark, mm. I was I knew Henry Cavill was cut out. I knew it wasn't, but how I was thinking to myself, God, how fucking awesome if he just brought fucking henry cavill out there if he'd been raising him for the last fucking 20 uh, years oh, and, fight Supergirl. Yeah. and i was like holy fuck that would have been awesome that yeah. would have been awesome I was, yeah, I was actually, time when was all just his father or something or at least I was, in that role i was actually I, waiting for that giant guy at the the giant mysterious spaceman that they're fighting numb. with the hammer to be henry cavill's superman and like, oh, yeah, the, the infant didn't survive, but it's kind of like a certain point of view sort of thing. Like, oh, he didn't survive. We turn him into something else. But before he said he didn't survive, I, I was like thinking, are they leading up to a, I found him, I molded him, I made him my own. He serves right. me now, like kind molded of thing. By. I, I thought he's dead. Because <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't think we were going to see pretty much anything about henry cavill in this no. and we didn't, oh, didn't. no I, I yeah i knew and i knew he was like reshot and then taken out yeah that's what well, what sucks, if but. it was good see that's where we're going what if it was awesome? <laughs> well, i, th I think there's like there's it? plenty what? of scope to make a much better movie <laughs> what if what if star wars was still good and star trek was still good and what if this universe, universe where they, they, they <laughs> rescue kara and bruce <laughs> solves all of gotham's problems and Barry's mother is alive. What if this is a universe in which we have Nicholas K. Superman? I mean, that'd be kind of interesting. It, it, there was a lot of things that would have been interesting that they didn't do in this movie. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of things they, and a lot of things they did do that weren't interesting, like yeah. the exactly. cameo, exactly. like spend way too much time with two Ezra Millers. That that part was just right. just awful. on that note. The second Ezra Miller was such a mentally deficient retard. I couldn't oh, stand God. it. It's like, yeah. ah, 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 he's always right. laughing. Like I, multiple times I had the impulse to just slap him. I just like, I, 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 I love the commentary the within the yeah. movie about how annoying Ezra Miller actually is. Mm. I, I, I think really that's, got annoyed with Ezra Miller. I think like, I think the point of that character is to be so over the top fucking annoying that it almost normalizes normal timeline. Yeah. yeah. Like, that, that's Probably. what it did for me. Cause he, that, yeah. like there well, was, no. there was commentaries like, God, I understand why everybody fucking hates me now. Cause I'm just like you. <laughs> also, it's pretty much canon that Ezra Miller is super fucking autistic, like crippling autism. Uh, uh, this version of Barry Allen, we all expected that. That's what it, confirmed basically in this movie oh i, I like God, the way he had absolutely zero fair, chemistry yes. with iris <laughs> oh, an and, 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 and why was she in the fucking film i don't yeah. know she's a, say hi like, she is not a good actress no uh, Dude, she what, didn't need to be in the movie at all Snyder cut by the way come on that? is that uh, the same oh. actress i thought they yeah. recast her she, no no they didn't recast her that's the same actress she's really just, um, I thought they would cast her with a with a less attractive actress. <laughs> she enjoys cheese pizza. Yeah, I think she. Well, I think she's got know. fat. I don't know. Um, eh. But like, she didn't. She didn't need to be in the movie whatsoever. No. And no. Really I I will say one thing I uh, enjoyed was seeing all Flash's powers. Like, not not like, hey, I got to learn this. Hey, I got to learn. It's just he just fucking did it. You know what I mean? Like, he did to not use them. That super important pass. Just doesn't doesn't use some of his most OP powers to win the day. Randomly. Well, like like when, like when they're fighting all of these people, and the Flash announces we can't kill them, and then kills several of them, but not the important ones like Zod. Did, didn't I don't he think he does phased, kill them? Though. Like, well, he kills they kill one with the lightning one because he does the fucking but, hand thing. Yeah, yeah just do that to yeah, Zod. Didn't he phase his hand into someone's heart and then pull it out, and the guy yep. dropped? Like, that was the implication. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, you know, maybe Stay you could take out him out. Like, he's the fucking Flash. When he said, like, we can't kill him, I was like, what? Why? You guys <laughs> should dominate. It should take you 30 seconds at most to kill everything in this battlefield. And even that is probably way too uh, long. Kryptonians are very quick, as you saw. But uh, not quicker if, than the Flash. If, you, if he gets up on them, yeah, he could fuck them up. Yeah. And besides, but, that's a, that, that's more of a comparison that with the powered up Superman from also, Snyder Cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flash. Right. Just exactly. like, these guys are not powered up. They're masked. They up. barely got to Except Earth. That, they that barely, true, they're barely supposed true. to know how to use their powers. Yeah, yeah, they don't yeah. even know how to fly. So 
yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know how people feel. Yeah, I didn't buy the loss that Supergirl has. I thought that was lame as fuck. She just like decided mm -hmm. she wouldn't care about Zod for a moment and focus on something else, and then gets backstabbed. I thought that was lame. What is she how many minutes do you think way? Michael what? Shannon took to read his lines and walk off? Five. Judging from what he said about this film, I feel like <laughs> I'm just it, not very because the way that no. he dialed that <laughs> in, I was like, this guy was five minutes and out. What what I thought was going to happen was I, I thought at I some point that Michael Shannon was going to get knocked out of his suit in the same way that fucking ha or Zod was going to get knocked out of his suit and he was going to get the same powers just like Man of Steel. Mm -hmm. and we're going to see like this full face off. I was expecting him to but, do that payoff as well, yeah. But mm -hmm. in the end, like he didn't even need to get fucking powered up uh, <laughs> to beat Supergirl, no matter which way they fucking tried it. Like uh, like. Yeah. How could he just stab Supergirl? Like, I thought she was supposed to be invulnerable and he didn't have kryptonite on him or anything. He's just always stabbing it. Is it that easy to kill a super person? Why didn't he do that against Superman in the previous film? It's just incredible. Well, I was I'm confused about that. Metal. Well, I was yeah, no, confused. but you see, on Krypton, the normal. So that's why he could stab uh, oh, well, no, uh, Zorel. Not quite. Because it probably powers up Kryptonians, Kryptonians to supercharge, correct? Hey. I thought Earth the Sun yellow, powers up the Kryptonians yeah, the to supercharge. Sun. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm talking on Krypton. Yeah, that's what I'm Jor -El saying. Where gets killed. It, that's, but they're that, not they're on just, Krypton, right? No, 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 no. I'm just saying they're normal. So the, him getting stabbed, no problem. Oh, I, I, I was another... confused as to how Kara got stabbed so easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's exactly what I'm yeah. questioning was why is she yeah, getting stabbed I, so easily? I, I, see, again, you're going to have to go into what assumptions. It's another Kryptonian killing another Kryptonian. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. He, but he's not so, powered I mean, up. And, and that steel, I assume, doesn't do the same thing. there. He, he, he just has power, he just doesn't... Yet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He doesn't have the full fucking power, yeah. But, he's got yeah, power. but it's by the not way, a Kryptonian Zod, dagger. Like, wait, wait, wait. wait no. When Zod learns his powers, especially in Man of Steel, he's obviously more powerful than Superman yeah. because he is a yeah. fighter. He's a fucking general. Like, he's yeah. been in combat before. So. But that doesn't make the steel that he stabbed her with more powerful. But his arm yeah, is more problem. Powerful. Yeah, but, his, but his that, the weak point is the weapon. That's like yeah, a, yeah, it'll just bend. And that's the thing. Movie. That's, that's, I'm not going to defend it. You're right. It's fucking that's the stupid. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that element of it, but I also don't like that she clearly hadn't killed him, and she could have. She just keep beating him in the face, but she just is like, no, no, he, I'm sure he's fine. I'm going to turn around now. I fucking yeah. hate that shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Well, she it's she didn't talk to an ego. She was still um, yeah, whole, she was still not super fully charged herself. By the looks no, but like, I'm exactly. not even talking about her strength there. I'm just saying that like that was just a dumb move. I know that she wants to disable mm. his ships yeah. and everything, but like make rip his arm off. Make sure he's fucking dead. Like any normal hero, <laughs> rip his arm off and beat him with it. <laughs> yeah, beat him with it. <laughs> Hell yeah, <laughs> do it. She, she's she's not. A, she's just a fucking random person who just fucking came out of a hole for like you know what I mean. It looked like right? they were yeah. fighting in fucking like some lame metaverse fucking yeah. virtual <laughs> reality. Oh, well, bad. you know what? I think that is uh, again somebody somebody I watched it with said this very same thing, and I think it was a great point. All the fucking backlash over Man of Steel, the Man of Steel fight being in a city. Yeah, it's like they yep. listened to that. We're like, hey, let's do it in a random fucking desert and with not go no, to city, yep. no one around for any collateral damage whatsoever. No, just that kill some soldiers. Let's just kill soldiers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm I pretty sure was that if Henry Cavill's man was in there, like Henry Cavill probably like fight in take him to What was that? Literally? Sorry, go on. I was just saying that if if it was Henry Cavill's man there, he probably like just takes Zod, fly him to his city. So they Collateral it, damage. It, it, no, Zod, we must battle on <laughs> Metropolis <laughs> soil. Wait, what? Well, it's, it's way cooler. To be fair, I would argue he fights better while well, there's people at risk. You know. Well, to be no. Well, to be fair, he does try to take him out of the city and take the fight away from the city at different times in it, and Zod fucking brings him back. So, but I do like yeah. the way in the film they said uh, that when Zod arrived on our time, so Batman v Superman time. Uh, sorry, Man of Steel time. They do confirm thousands of metropol uh, Metropolis people died. Yeah. Good job, sir, man. Yes. <laughs> A plus. Uh, and look, this I know it's explained by just the timeline is all screwed up, but I also got annoyed with, okay, so you have Michael Keaton's Batman and Man of Steel Zod supposedly in the same timeline, and that's supposed to fit somehow. And it's just no, it's, it's pivot, dumb. pivot timeline, timeline, pivot, yeah. pivot timeline. There you go. There you go. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Yeah, spaghetti. Yeah, exactly. Spaghetti. spaghetti timeline. Did they explain uh, why Ezra Miller's Flash Barry Allen is the same 
Barry Allen, like, why is Ezra Miller playing that Barry Allen? Shouldn't he be playing, like, shouldn't another actor be playing that Barry Allen if Michael I Keaton think it's Batman he is specifically was that going timeline. like to himself in like, right. that yeah. timeline? And, that that that's that's the 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 that's and that's why, the, the, with the spaghetti uh, explanation, Zot wasn't supposed to go to that timeline. It was, it was, it, there was, so he's the, not, the, he's it was not from the, the way I understood it which could be completely fucking wrong because it wasn't explained very well, is stuff started, <laughs> it was incursions. Incursions from other because timelines. Because spaghetti. Yeah. Because spaghetti. Why was Loki? Loki should have come and closed the incursion. <laughs> <laughs> I rather have back wow. I did like, like the way, by the way, that when Michael, when they arrive in the Batwing, uh, the soldiers start shooting at the Batwing. And like, why are they shooting at us? Like, Everyone's fighting everyone at the moment. You know, so I thought that was quite good, actually. I, yeah, and, like, I mean, it, go ahead. I was just saying, and I know it's explained again by the whole spaghetti bull crap, but it, this is supposed to be the, the future of the Michael Keaton Batman. And I was thinking, like, well, hang on. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> Do, I... <laughs> That's so good. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, get nuts? Let's get nuts. That, that was a fun. I, I, that annoyed me as well. That, I felt that, like yeah, was, that was when he said that. Um, that was but bad. It's like they're trying to pretend the other Batman films didn't exist when we technically know the, the parts of the future of the Michael Keaton Batman with the other Batman movies. But then that means the original Batmobile from the Michael Keaton one shouldn't be there because it was destroyed. And so they're just like, ah, oh, we grabbed him out of part of his timeline and rewrote a new future and it's all messed up and stupid. Doesn't make sense. Maybe you fixed it. I mean, it. you could have rebuilt it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> he had the blueprints. You, you could have, seen you have with multiple with Batmobiles. The so. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's more than one. He's a yeah. billionaire, don't you know, yeah. chap? A backup. <laughs> He's a fast sounds like cope, guys. It sounds like you're writing the it's film for the writing. It's massive cope, all right. <laughs> 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 and it's Michael fucking key in his Batman, and I love him. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like him as Batman. He's pretty good. Well, speaking of loving him, his fucking both of his endings, I thought were shit. The first one was kind shit. of funny. The first one was hilarious because he's... I don't know if they're going for comedy. Maybe uh... <laughs> I don't think I they the were. Second, but it I was the second one was good. <laughs> Why? The second one was really good. The second one was actually pretty because cool. because he actually he actually went out trying to take out a fucking massive Kryptonian. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so exactly. when, so when I was Batman... just like that's fucking baller. If Batman was to sprint at a tornado, I wouldn't be saying like it's pretty baller to try and take that out, you know? Look, Good job Batman, on him. He he's went, Batman went into him. there yeah. woefully unprepared. He didn't know what the fuck he was coming up against, really. He, that's I don't buy it. I think that uh, Batman is smart enough to realize like, okay, so the guy that I just shot like a million bullets at who jumped on my ship from miles away probably shouldn't engage in one-on-one -on -one combat with him. Should probably stay back. That's yeah, but Batman. I don't think I don't think he didn't away. really have a choice. I don't think he could run away. He from did. Him. He totally had a fucking baller, choice. It would have been baller if Bat uh, Batman went towards the tornado and then Jonathan Kent came out. What you doing, there, Bruce? <laughs> Jonathan then, of course, yeah, the other death that we were talking about is he's like, I'm gonna take these gonna fuckers take down me. with me, crashes in and does nothing. <laughs> it does yes. nothing. Yeah. Yeah. He, he goes into the shield. The, the first yeah. one is funny because he saw that it was shielded already. Yeah, and he's, he's like, like yeah, slap it. into it. That will work. <laughs> but no, he, he needed to be the told. Second, he's like, don't ram them. The shields are up. Okay. And then it's like, <laughs> Roger. Oh, okay. Roger that. Roger that. Oh, Roger, 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 Roger. Roger. He didn't. He could, his <laughs> don't miss him. He didn't out. see it. Yeah. Yeah. That was stupid. It was hilarious. That was pretty <laughs> stupid. Uh, it's kind of like when the Predator shot himself in the head in the Prey movie. He's like, what? Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, what? I did uh, kind of think, wait yeah. a minute. Those shields were up when he did crash into that. I was like, oh. Maybe so it was like, so oh, man, Just take it. Please, <laughs> please just fucking take something here. I thought they were going to do some main character magic where suddenly the, him crashing into the ship would bring it down, but it didn't. I was like, no. Yeah, I thought maybe, or maybe, he, maybe, maybe like, oh, he okay. thought, fuck, this is the biggest scope <laughs> in the world. Maybe he thought that <laughs> ramming it an explosion would take down the shield. Yeah, so sure. Why not? Yeah. And they would explode and everyone would go, hurrah! Hurray, Batman, save them. Thunder Child! <laughs> 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 
But uh, no. Here goes Michael Keaton. Mahler, uh, how did you like uh, the representation of the multiverse where the flat <laughs> running backwards badly in a bubble uh, in the middle of a what was a sports arena of time? Uh, that was circulating around him. Sorry, where is the cosmic treadmill for fuck's sake? <laughs> Listen, okay, it's it was different. supposed to be in right. Justice League why Part Two. Weird. Why does he run weird? It's different and so interesting. It's like a coliseum of slideshow powerpoints you can pick from. To it made so much sense to me. Totally. Yeah. Wow. Just and you know what? The director, the people behind the special effects. Good job. You created something <laughs> real new. Uh, uh, this will be remembered forever. <laughs> remembered for being very bad. From, from Silent Hill games last night. And they Dude, were better they, than those fucking... Whenever they showed, like, a little... When they were looking into the past of different big events, and it was just, like, CG versions of all the things we'd seen in other movies, and I was like, why do they look so shit? Why didn't you just fucking superimpose the actual scenes? Why think, are you doing yeah, horrible yeah. CG I, versions? I think that this is where, like, when he said it's supposed to look kind of weird, I think uh -oh. this is specifically is what he's talking about. Like, the problem is the rest of the movie, the special effects are all so fucking tragic. Exactly. But, but I think for this, they were going for that, like, kind of look. Probably to save money on the fucking budget, to be honest with you. <laughs> well, like, yeah, because he said I, yeah. they look weird because we're seeing them from the perspective of the Flash. Yeah. And we weren't. We, we were seeing them from the third person perspective. perspective. We weren't obvious, seeing them from his perspective bro. at all. Right, right. So it, like, yeah, that makes sense. With, with with the when he sees the other worlds as well, that annoyed me. Like to me, this was some of the cheapest nostalgia bait ever. Where this is the time, and we have the spoilers up, where you yeah. see the Christopher Reeve Superman, and I, I saw it. It was so pointless. It, it was only there to try and just bait people in. I was I was thinking maybe they could have an interaction where the Christopher Reeves man actually does appear when time is breaking down and he starts helping out. No, he's just standing there, this <laughs> fake watches. CG face, just watching. And it's like, they, well, they I could. Well, it. they couldn't. I, I don't know if you knew this yet. They tried to get him back to do a real live action one. He was unavailable. <laughs> They, they could have seen um, him or something. Zone vacation. Uh, there would have been, you know. But why did they, they, watch, why did they just vacation. watch multiverses colliding and getting destroyed and like it, that? That's it what was... all of them do. They just look at the big tear in reality like, oh, that's yeah, weird. Like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> well, they, were, they weren't even doing that. The faces were just blank. All of them. Mm -hmm. like. Imagine yeah, you, right? level you guys in love the Nick Cage Superman fighting a giant mechanical spider. Yeah. Yeah. John Peters was masturbating <laughs> to that. <laughs> yeah, there was wasn't that like the concept art for that yeah, fucking movie? That yeah, was, it was. the concept of the film yeah. was that he would it, fight the giant spy. The, the issue is the fact that unless you knew about either watched the documentary or heard Kevin Smith's story about it, nobody would know what the fuck is going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, John Peters wanted a spider. And then when John Peters eventually did Wild Wild West, he got the giant with Will spider. Smith, he got his giant <laughs> spider. <laughs> And that's a famously fantastic film. So, famous. yes, really cool. For yes. all the wrong oh, yeah. reasons. Hey, you know, John Peters uh, was Barbara Streisand's hairdresser. Hairdresser, yeah. Yes, that's yes. how he became uh, a producer. Yeah, that's Lots why he's so experience. nuts. He is nuts. You watched the death of what? The death, the death in the life of Superman. What is what? The death of Superman at? Lives. The Death yeah, of yeah. Superman Lives. In, oh, my God. It's a, such an amazing documentary. R.I.P. Snap. R.I.P. Snap. Yeah, yeah. But those 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 cameos were a joke. Completely oversold. They looked tacked on. That they meant nothing. Nothing to the fucking Corporate story at all. No yeah. Word. I mean, you Corporate. gotta compare this and No Way Home. Feel like the two ways you can do it, right? Like, mm. And this this was gross. Like, you know, no Way <laughs> Home yeah. did their inconsequential cameos so much better because they were just purple silhouettes yeah when they were far you know? away and, and you had to yeah. kind of guess you're like, oh that's the rhino and that's craven and stuff but yeah. like it wasn't it was never meant to be important and they were like no come in for the cameos we got <laughs> nick cage and I, like the nick cage one was the nick cage one was fucking cooler than the christopher reeve one it was and, actually yeah, yeah, well, yeah definitely reeve one was, but you I, said I, didn't, twice. I didn't feel anything i didn't give a fuck it's no. like I I don't even. Well, it, they were all uh, pointless. They meant yeah, nothing. I, yeah. 
I felt insulted because the Christopher Reeves Superman and the Supergirl of that period, like I, as as a kid, I loved those films. They have a special place in my heart, and to see them used so cheaply and so manipulatively, I just felt insulted. I was just like, "Piss off!" Don't I've got, you dare I've got some it. footage of um, uh, Nick Cage's uh, body double for the uh, <laughs> <laughs> for the Superman bit. That's there. really yeah. I I, yeah. I recognize that guy from somewhere, but I. I <laughs> I love the idea, by the way. That, <laughs> looks about like, as good, by the way, as Nick Cage. <laughs> we all know why he was there. There's going to be plenty of people in the world who do as well. But I love the idea of an average moviegoer seeing the Nick Cage Superman and being like, really? Because it's a multiverse? You just threw Nicolas Cage in? <laughs> like, <laughs> no reason why. Not knowing the context. For yeah. no more reason. time than Christopher Reeve. Why did you do that? Like, what, what, why what? Nicolas Cage? <laughs> I, I did kind of want to see a Nicolas Cage Superman, but but if only if they allow him to be Nicolas Cage. Yeah. Yes. Like him being I totally Caster want to Troy, see that. like the Caster Troy personality, but with Superman. <laughs> yeah, you want to get nuts. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, dude, honestly, <laughs> I feel like it would have cost them more to make that whole sequence than to just buy, like you know, have Christopher the uh, fucking Nicolas Cage come in and just be sitting in a room or whatever, and he looks over and sees the portal <laughs> as, as you know, like, huh? Clark Kent or whatever. That probably would have cost yeah. less. He's just in a room eating chips or something. He's like, yeah, oh, that's you could do that. <laughs> that eating a better. sandwich. Eating a, uh, eating a sandwich, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's like a, it's like poetry. It rhymes, you know. Start with a sandwich, and with a sandwich. And, and to, to do all these fucking cameos, like I obviously the CW Arrowverse is a fucking abomination. Uh, there were some good. I think there were some good seasons to start off some of these shows, but to not have Grant Gustin. Make yeah, some yeah, sort of I know, appearance I know. is so disrespectful. I like I for a lot of people, when they think of the Flash right now, they think of Grant Gustin on CW as fucking terrible as some of those last seasons were, uh, and all that bullshit. He's trying, he, damn it. He was trying. He really fucking cared. He was in it for a decade, not not just a decade. Like Ezra Miller's gonna be working on this for a fucking entire decade, <laughs> but making <laughs> twenty fucking episodes a season. And I feel like he, you know, cared about that character. To not have him in one of these stupid, cheap ass, retarded cameos is such a disservice. Well, you say especially because like Ezra was in his shit. The movie was perfectly set up to have Greg Gustin yeah. turn up as a Flash, yeah. just be the second yeah. Flash. It'll cost you yes. way less Ezra money. Ezra Miller, Ezra Miller turned up in Crisis on Infinite Earths. He did. So yeah. why the fuck didn't Grant Gustin appear in this yeah. for a cameo? Well, you know why? He would show up Ezra Miller and well, be the much better you're Flash, right. and people would like because. <laughs> Chad, I think you're fucking one hundred and fifty nine thousand percent right. People be yes. like, "Who's that guy? He's yes. way fucking better." Yeah, why Ezra wasn't he the Flash? Ezra's appearance. Have redone the movie with Grant Gustin. Then Bro, Ezra's appearance in Crisis was back when the Flash movie was still supposed to be a him and Cyborg time travel thing. Because if you remember, when they fucking are face to face, he's like, "Uh, Victor, I think something went wrong." Like he's talking yeah. to Cyborg. So. Yeah. I want um I want everyone to realize by the way I know you all know this but I want them to make sure that the chat realized this we talked about the opening Batman scene and then we skipped over to Michael Keaton's interaction we have skipped an hour of this film <laughs> yeah, because, yeah. It's yeah, because it's just who what Ezra Miller is about. <laughs> it's so <laughs> funny how much we don't give a fuck about half the movie <laughs> so when it comes when it More comes to half. Ezra I fucking hated the first twenty minutes of him I hated when he sees his fucking younger self. Um, but then I started to hate the younger self so much that I didn't mind the normal Ezra Miller. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, almost like, like, it's almost like the intention is for that character to be so fucking annoying at every opportunity that you start to wish that you had just more of regular Ezra Miller's Barry Allen. Um, I, I thought that there were some fucking funny moments in there, like in the fight where he's trying to get like the fucking high five from Supergirl uh, at the end. The, the, the part where... <laughs> The part where Sasha Kaye's Supergirl is like, do you know what this stands for? As if anyone would fucking know. Do you know what this stands for? He's like, Supergirl? Like, <laughs> and shit like that was really funny to me. I did laugh. I laughed at that. Yeah, I, I laughed, laughed at a lot there of this it. stuff that I actually laughed quite a bit in this movie. I, a lot I, of it's because it's just dumb, but it's yeah. also kind of funny at the same time. I, I, I absolutely popped when Glo Clooney got out the car at the end and he just went, Fuck are you? <laughs> Fuck are you? <laughs> I, 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 I laughed my ass off at that. The when four people in the, the cinema. Uh... Sorry, the three, because that one guy walked out and never came back. The three people that left in the cinema, we all laughed uproariously at that bit. 
What were you saying? When they're walking through the, 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 the three. Fuel tunnel facility thing, right? It's Batman leading the two flashes, and then they just come across random scientists, and then Batman, <laughs> everyone stops, they stare at each other, then Batman tries to psych him out, like a, like oh, a yeah. gopher, <laughs> and the guy just stands there, staring at him. I thought that was pretty funny. That no, was pretty funny. Like, forgot well, he was in rushing. the fact that they just, like, <laughs> drop that fucking shovel or whatever. Like you're like, like three they, different items. <laughs> yeah, they go down and you're like, they're right in the middle of the open. What the fuck are they gonna do? And immediately make noise. Like that. Oh, I love it. Was yeah, a I goofy, that. It was a that fucking well. weird, goofy type of humor that they stuck with the entire time. A lot of it didn't hit, a lot of it mm. did. It was just it was just really hit or miss. Um well, I, I would like to see the, the, the breakdown uh, of what was reshot and what was not reshot and the parts that did work and didn't work and see if there were it looked like so that plate of spaghetti. spaghetti. Well, the bit, the bit in the yeah. silo that, that Ryan just spoke about, where he just kept knocking everything over, that was actually done really well because it was like he knocks the first thing over, a massive noise, everyone like freezes, and even the Russians are like looking, nobody's moving, and he goes to make another movement, knocks another movie. thing. No, but, that was well, but that was a well constructed slapstick were which, joke. Which one was Andy? Which I, joke was Andy and which was the previous directors of pr the previous shoots? How much of that is this gone. director? And then we can get an idea of what his uh, Batman's going to be. Mm -hmm. it also, that makes sense. I did. I was glad. When it's hard he, to tell right now with this movie. When he yeah. fucking phased through the wall to get the beer and like phases back out. I was like, if they don't fucking make this beer explode, that's, that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> yeah, it did. And then luckily it, it did. did immediately. So. <laughs> I if someone didn't know about that power of a flash, legit, when I saw that, I went, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what? Oh, you did? I didn't know that there was a thing oh, flash he can, could yeah, do. Yeah, he can do that. He can so do that. The, yeah, they yeah. showed the phasing. Yeah. They showed the, the tornado shit. Tornado? Which seen yet. And obviously, yeah, like, the, the, like, the ability to like kind of channel the electricity and everything. See, and that's, that's what um, I mean about the misuse of powers. The, when they try to save uh, Batman and Supergirl by going back again, his approach that time is to run around Zod and make the tornado. And it's just like, just kill him. Just fucking kill him. <laughs> it was really annoying me. Because then Supergirl's like, I'm going to punch you and punch you and punch you and punch you. It's actually like one-to-one, -one, the Spider-Man punching Thanos scene. And then, you know, the, both of them just like eventually just stop the person from punching them. And it's just like, what was the what was the plan? Just running around and making a big smoke screen is so shit compared to what Flash can do. And I think that's... Uh, I, I want to try and be a little bit nicer to the film. It's the problem of speedsters. It's really hard to nerf them. They yes. are incredibly overpowered. Yes. So I get it. But at the same time, it's like, just fucking do the phase thing in his heart. Just kill him. Which they, yeah. I felt like they were trying to do a little bit with other Barry because of his suit. Because he had to like, he couldn't fucking just go and go. And I thought they were going to do that a little bit when it came to his caloric intake and his energy levels and all that shit. Yep. I, I really mm. thought that Which that was going to be a setup for like something very important down the road. And they just dropped that entire thing after they had Super, to meet Super Rotten used to have limits uh you know like a, a flash would have to eat spider-man would run out of web flu yeah. fluid there was a time yeah. when iron man had to fucking plug in you know uh the, the, like uh, the spawn had the countdown like they right. took all that shit away yeah they well, did. you need that to have stakes to have some kind of drama because yeah. otherwise mm -hmm. they just are op like what, that was, what that was like a staple for the um like yeah. Mahler's having where it's like why aren't you using this power that you established you had before right now when it would be really useful they can't do that in the script because it wouldn't work. The uh, movie they, would be of, a talented writer can justify it with reasons, but mm -hmm. in these mm -hmm. ones, they just ignore they, it. They, that is, that's it. Talented. Ezra right. should have been phasing through the shields of the Kryptonian ships and just going right through the fuckers. Just fucking kill everything. You can. <laughs> <laughs> you as well. Like, yeah. What would have happened if they had like Ezra Miller or the, the we had Flash and he's like trying to save everybody, but it. it He's he runs out of you know caloric intake like his powers kind of fade to the point where he can't do it and he's just forced to watch as everyone dies unable to activate his powers that that'd be pretty interesting like arc to co complete that uh, that set from before so he goes back and tries to eat something or something but there's like a you get that one point where he fails to power his powers or fuel his powers and That's he's forced to watch his friends die or something. Um... <laughs> They deal with the caloric intake thing much better in the fucking CW series, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Basically, Barry eats a bar a day, and the bar's got, like, fucking 90,000 calories in it. I like when Cisco makes him that fucking shot to get him drunk for, like, fucking 30 seconds at a time or whatever. <laughs> okay, you, you, speaking of that, you would think that he had this awesome suit that dis, just disrupts energy or whatever. 
he would have one of those things where you could eat it and get a lot of caloric intake. Yeah, by that yeah. point, you'd think he would have something prepared that he could just, you know, yeah, a little. Yeah, pop his mouth. Yeah, that Parsons, guy was uh, fucking late with his sandwich, yeah. Shad. That was the whole fucking. Part. <laughs> yeah. How many? How many Sorry, calories does that sandwich got? Fucking seven hundred. That's not gonna keep you going, <laughs> sunshine. <laughs> <sighs> no. Uh, thankfully, I don't ever. Oh, I have to watch this. Thankfully, one more time. put a baby oh, in the microwave. <laughs> Dude, those yeah, CG uh, well, babies. The, cool. the baby didn't look fucking real. Yeah, how'd you like those, Mahler? Those, those CG gross. babies. <laughs> <laughs> didn't they look good? And I yeah, and I love, yeah. by the way, the whole, like, uh, I can move people, like, speedy, but I can't do it too far because they'll throw up. They show that mechanic with uh, Ezra Miller moving Ezra Miller, like, by a meter, and he vomits like crazy. And it's like, those babies should have been fucking thrown up their whole body. <laughs> I, think it's, <laughs> yeah, I think it might be about, like, how fast they move them potentially, too, or something like that. But the, mm. the fucking, what the funniest thing to come from that is somebody took a clip and reversed it. And instead of when he's taking the baby out of the microwave and holding yeah. it up, he puts it back in and the lady's screaming. It's fantastic. Yeah, like, yeah, like, <laughs> like, the like, I can't believe in the splash, fucking Ezra Miller puts a baby in a microwave while the mother's screaming. And like, it was awesome. looks perfect. And it's right. just like, for, well, for Hollywood, they treat figure. babies as be part of the course for them. That's yeah, why I'm I glad they're using CG babies now. To be honest with you, I'm glad they're not using real babies for I'm anything. I'm glad they didn't actually uh, throw real babies off that fucking tower. That would have been. <laughs> well, you, you, know, you know, Nolan would have practical effects. Nolan, man. Nolan would effects. have found stunt babies. Okay. Oh yeah, he <laughs> throwing them out of the he's, window. A, he's a true filmmaker. <laughs> yes, he is. Veteran babies against scars and shit. I thought it, was <laughs> nice Jer- it was a nice thing, Jeremy Irons, for a little bit though. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Like it was. Alfred. Um, I thought it was everything. Very funny. I get Everything that other she than Ezra under an extreme stress as the, in that situation, the nurse, but it really looked like when she fell out of the building, she threw the baby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think, I think that laugh. was supposed to imply like just kind of momentum or whatever. Like I said, yeah. you know, all kinds of shit is happening. It's only fair, but it looks funny. Yeah, I mean, it does. does. You're right. It does look like she's like, screw <laughs> it out for myself. Get right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do like the fact that they, during while the uh, Alfred is watching this go down and he's like warning Ezra Miller's flash to go and save is it page into the hospital and he has he takes the time to brag about how awesome he is but it's like according <laughs> to my calculations uh, it, which you know history shows i are usually pretty correct and spot on that thing is going to fall pretty soon like thanks alfred i'm glad you took time to tell us this, this uh, urgent matter and took time to brag about how awesome you are. <laughs> well, he had calculated he had enough time to do that. Yeah, <laughs> it was also, wasn't it weird because like he alerts him about it, and then the Flash is like, "Nah, it's fine. I'm pretty sure it's fine." I was yeah, it's just not falling. And I was just like, I "Might want to ask Alfred how he knows it," <laughs> like because you seem to think that it's not going to happen at all. Oh, that's my stomach growling. Oh, wait a minute, that's actually the building falling. I also um, thought it was weird when he's yep. like, uh, I'm okay with being the Justice League's janitor, but it's always a Batman mess that I'm cleaning up. <laughs> and it's like, how is this Batman's mess? Someone tried yeah. to steal a super weapon and blew up like a building. Like, what is, uh. what's Batman supposed to do about that? Like, Yeah, Batman didn't blow up the building. He was too busy being the only right? fucking good thing about that opening segment. Yeah. Yes, he was. Uh, real also, quick for the chat, if you're yeah. if you're new to the show, uh, Exodus Ghoul is doing it. She's doing a job, so she she usually doesn't talk. We do let her talk. It's supposed to be nine Sometimes. words a show. It's gone a little over that, to be honest with you. I've been kind of too easy on her lately, and I might have to reduce that. But we're going to say something extra, girl, to make her count. Does she no? get an extra? Okay, there you go. Uh, All right, Ryan, to, like, she knows her place. Well, but she gets paid per word, so <laughs> <they're> like, <laughs> she gets ten cents a word, and she's already said nine. So fucking hell, calm yeah. down. God, I'm back hey, in China that's... already. <laughs> <laughs> pay for an Asian woman, come on. There's, no There's place not like even home. nets here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you're not working for Apple. Isn't you're not working uh, for uh, Apple Ryan, anymore? You're, you're all right. Something. It's safe. Um, I think I think there's some uh, Ben Affleck. Um, he was right. He was only in it for five minutes. Ben Affleck said that in like the promotional shit. He's like, I really love getting to play Batman again. I'm only in the movie for five minutes, but whatever. Uh, and I like him as Bruce Wayne a lot too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, mm. I, I like how they didn't use the vocal distortion this time with him and they actually just used his regular voice. I thought that was great. I like his right. vocal distortion. 
I think it sounds it cool. Is. Yeah, I, 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 I think the vocal it. distortion makes sense. It's like me. my favorite Batman voice. I fucking hate the Nolan one. Yeah, I, 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 I was like Batman's voice. I'm Batman. Batman. I think Affleck no, does the best, really best good, Bruce Wayne. He's really good at, at Bruce Wayne. Like, yeah. really yeah. good at Bruce Wayne. Yeah, and I think that... I, I also like as he, like, fucking pulls off in his fucking several million dollar car, right, as Iris walks up. She's like, who's your friend? He's like, oh, that's a... That's my Uber. Uber. Uh, Uber executive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, that I, Mercedes is pretty fucking cool looking, dude. I did that's like that. That's the electric car. one, a isn't lot. it? It's the electric Mercedes. Yeah. Mm. An electric car looked fucking nice. Liked it. It looked like um, Lady uh, Lady Penelope's. So, but obviously not pink, but uh, from Thunderbirds. Obviously. obviously. I did think uh, uh, Bruce. Did I mention, uh, go on. Uh, Bruce should have probably thought a little ahead when Ezra's telling him like I can save your parents I can save my mom I have the power to do that that he's like you shouldn't you would probably be like oh he probably fucking will because he's an idiot you know what I mean like Bruce probably should have thought like oh he's gonna do it and I gotta stop him maybe he wanted to be George Clooney and he's like I'm not gonna stop him I'm George <laughs> well, the thing that Ben Affleck's fucking dead <laughs> he got erased yeah. from the timeline <laughs> no he's, he's he's off on another timeline because the, the cut scene the end scene that was cut was Henry Cavill and Ben Affleck uh, on the laptop at the end when Aquaman's in in the apartment, and they're like, "Barry, you're in the wrong universe." Right, right. And that was the that was the actual <laughs> ending. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. What was the in- what what Who? what? It didn't go what was the end credit scene? Uh, I the walked credit- out, but apparently it was Aquaman. <laughs> It was it was Ezra. So like Aquaman. It was Barry and Aquaman walking out of a bar. Aquaman was just drunk as fuck, and Barry was saying, uh, "Like, yeah, everything. A bunch of different Bruce, Bruce Wayne's. Blah blah blah. Bruce yeah. is different, but you're the same in every universe. Um, even though he's a dog <laughs> in the whatever fucking universe. By the well, way, I, we got a Django Fed appearance. Uh, which yeah, I, I thought that joke was kind of funny too. Man. The uh, it was funny. Yeah. yeah. He married to an Atlantean queen as a fat woman on the sofa. I laugh. Oh, yeah. Doesn't he say something like, uh, didn't she come to you from the ocean or whatever? And he goes, oh, fuck yeah. off. <laughs> yeah, he's like, shut the fuck up. That, that, that part was pretty funny. Yeah, there was, yeah like, there, there, was, there was a lot of shit that made me fucking roll my eyes and cringe. But there was a lot of stuff that I legitimately laughed at, too. Oh, yeah. Very yeah. hit or miss with the comedy. Mm. And when, when he does lose his powers... And yeah, he tries to face through the door and fucking slams into it. And like, but his like fucking running, he's like, just the whole fucking running around. Ready. He's stupid. <laughs> and then he, I, I still hate it. I still hate that goofy retarded. It is goofy, but it was funny for it, that scene, though. Well, that's again, like the purpose of, I, I think it looks retarded too. It's not like normal running. He's like trying to access the speed for That's like what it is. But the fact that they did that while he was doing it in slow motion to just mock it, I thought it was good. It kind of runs <laughs> like a guy who knows that running exists, exists but never experienced it. Yeah, yep. yeah, maybe. I think it's meant to. I think it's meant to uh, try and give the impression of every step he's going a long distance, but it doesn't translate particularly well because he's doing all this sort of. It's this that, dude, that's one of those things where they overthought. It's just like have him run for fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's like a speed run. run. Do, you know, do you know how they do, do something the special? Whatever they're trying to do, it comes off as a musical theater student at PE. Yes. Okay, running track. That's, in, in that's CW, what it they just go. <laughs> they run. Yeah, they yeah. Run. yeah I, I, they run and then they speed up the act of running. The whole slow mo running, it just looks awful. Special run. Was there any? Because Tom ever... Welling, when it was Superman, was he would always go like, you know, when it like the super speed, like how do you do the super speed? Because it's like, whoosh, how do you do that? It's like I have to go halfway down the fucking road and just run, and then I've got to stop on my mark and not be out of breath. <laughs> it's just like... I, I wonder. Uh, God, what was I gonna fucking? Say? Oh, I, I don't know. Like obviously, it's something to do with the suit. But Barry's lightning is blue when he's not in the suit. But when he's in that specific yeah. suit, it's mm. yellow. Did I miss? Like, obviously, that's what it is. But is there an explanation for that? Yeah, there's, yeah, yeah, the yeah, there's an explanation. The charge. They try to get around Zack Snyder changing the fucking color. That's what they try to do. <laughs> well, but I mean, still, the, 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 but no, there is an it. explanation. It's the suit. The suit is dampening the charge 
okay. that the Flash generates. That's why yes. um, he yes. was telling the other Flash, "You need to, you need to be sparing with it because you're building up too Build much up. charge." But whereas his suit dissipates the charge, that's why it's so it's just a lower charge. That's why it lights up and everything because it's like yeah, and apparently that makes me yellow. Yes. Mm. Speaking okay. of the nerd commit mechanics, uh, the, the, I, I don't know if this is in the comic books. It's written in a while since I've, I've read the Flashpoint Paradox. But I know in the, they had this, what, they used to have this explanation. The reason why Barry just can't go, you know, redo everything is because uh, reverse flash is there and they can't have two flashes pulling from the speed force. So he's not fast enough to manipulate time. Like, is, is that, like, what happened to that? I they, don't they, they think not, about that rule. Yeah, it's not even there in this film. I, I don't yeah, think they, that was. Then the comic book, I know that was, I think there was an in the yeah. Animation. Well, they don't even address who actually killed Barry's mom, right? No, because it was, it was something like Professor Zoom, no. Reve- yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and when, when and they, when they said that, I, was, I need to go back to kill my mom. I thought, I thought they were gonna have Barry do it. Like, Whoa, that's, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's kind of implied if you think about it, yeah. But I don't know if that was just for him to see who killed his mom. Well, yeah, that's that's kind of the point. That That's the reason why it feels like it kind of implies that. He did it. I, I think that's more of a pothole. I don't think they intentionally were trying to make it seem like Barry killed his mom, but yeah, that, sequel, that, the whole thing sequel, was fucked up. I think like, they were trying, trying to see I'm tired if it was of your random sequel. Mexican accent. You fucking yeah. gone, mom. <laughs> I got, yeah, yeah. I, I um, was like, can they have some subtitles on the screen, please? Yeah. I, think I, can't, understand, I can't understand what she's fucking saying. I think she was Italian, Italian, which kind of meets with the spaghetti. Yeah. Oh, she, she was. Wait, she was Italian. Uh, she no, she was South American. Yeah, she was she American. Was Mexican. Yeah, she needs yeah. to be Italian. That fits way better. He's with Italian. Italian. The husband's Italian. Yeah, and and Ezra Miller's so, yeah, Native Italian American. husband and like a fucking Venezuelan or Colombian mom. <laughs> she was definitely speaking and, Spanish. Yeah, and his name mm. yeah, Barry she was Allen. <laughs> We did with Italian. We got the Italian. What is this? His nickname is Monkey. It's a new office. Specifically, this looks nice. Yeah, thanks. A nice background. I think it was funny when he was like looking to get his powers back, right? And so he explains to Bruce, like, I need to be struck by lightning, and Bruce is like, um. That's insane, but we'll do it. <laughs> we'll and do it anyway. I, I thought it was really funny. He gets zapped. He's annihilated. He's covered in blood. He looks half dead. And I just can't imagine what Bruce is thinking. Like, what did I do? Why did I let this I just kill this kid? Let's hit him again. And then, that right is in flash. Flashpoint. Yeah, no, I don't. I, yeah. I don't care where it's from. And then the super <laughs> Supergirl comes down, and she's like, "Don't worry, I will carry you up into the heavens and get you electrocuted again." I thought that was fucking hilarious. I just I wanted to return with a crusty, like a black skeleton. Be like, I don't know if it works, well, guy. In Flashpoint, I mean, in work. Flashpoint, he he's just he's absolutely he's fine, burnt yeah. from head to yeah, toe. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he, he, is. Like, he gets yeah. totally deformed. Like all because Uncle Owen. Flashpoint. I can totally. <laughs> Yeah. I can buy that the Flash would do it. I just don't buy that Supergirl and Batman would have been convinced that that was a great idea. I think they'd be like, I know that you want your powers, but I think you might He die. is really like... annoying, so I think it was win-win. <laughs> <laughs> no, as they killed the, 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 the less annoying one. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, mate, one Ezra Miller is better than two Ezra Miller in any universe for me. So, Amen. I'll take it. Uh, and the main Ezra Miller didn't have his fucking powers for half the movie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Not that it made any difference because they were both fucking annoying as hell. But I think at least if he was running around doing superhero shit, he'd be talking less. Yeah. Uh, it was. Uh, it God. It was. Ter- I, it was terrible. <laughs> this movie was terrible. It yeah, looked terrible. I, I, you get. You guys still uh, settled on no- a five as Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm, yeah. So, I'm solid five on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I give it. I gave it a four. That's fair. I still think, I still think that's generous. <laughs> <laughs> I, I felt like I was it overly is. generous. I gave it a C minus. Felt like it was Chad, very, what very, very you very on? Oh, four so, out of ten. That's pretty fucking. Long, I initially man. gave it a three out of ten. I'm probably down to a two. Oh, I'm probably the same. Yeah. It's dog crap. It's a yeah. bad. <laughs> yes, it is. Still, still better than Quantum Mania. <laughs> yeah, but Quantum Mania is fucking abysmal. I know the bar is pretty low. <laughs> <laughs> also, at, at times, be... Quantum Mania is so bad it's funny. Whereas this one no. just no. No. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No, the, no, the, the, no. The, the, no. was it Mardok? No. Mo- Modok? Modok is hilarious. I'm sorry. Yeah, this Modok. movie's way funnier than Quantum Mania. <laughs> yeah, I agree, the, Ryan. The only funnies you get from Quantum Mania are Quantumania. like at the expense of the film. This film has a couple of jokes that you laugh with it. So you know, yeah, that. not at it. Yeah. 
this the, the Michael Keaton makes this better than anything Marvel Phase Four and Five. Yeah, Marvel. yeah, that, that, that's what I would ask. Like for everything for the stuff that's come out, really, I guess since like Guardians. Yeah, for the stuff that's come out since what was the Spider-Man movie right after Endgame? Uh, no, Far oh, from Home or whatever. From home. Like from the stuff that's come out since that point, like what would you put above this movie? Probably No Way Home. Guardians. I would put Guardians. No Way Home. Guardians. I would put Guardians. No I would put The Batman. Guardians. Um, the Batman. Yes. Yeah, yes. That's pretty much it. Eternals. Uh, fucking. Uh, <laughs> Eternals. Thor: Love and Thunder. Listen, Wakanda Listen, Forever. Suicide Squad. Ant Man: Quantumania. I, I I would probably put the Suicide Squad ahead of this one. Although I'd rather rewatch this movie than that one. Kind of. Yeah. I, Even I, I it's, it's a far well. better movie no, in no, my no, opinion. Right. But. No way. Um, I just want to see yeah. Michael Keaton. <laughs> Well, I'm excited to go see it. <laughs> oh my god! Then go watch Batman '89 and Batman Returns, and you watch. I, I do on a, on a regular basis, mate. On a regular no, 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 no. basis. Just wait like six months. Are, there'll be a no, Michael no, Keaton no, no. cut of the film where they cut the flash what, out of it completely, and it's just Michael Keaton. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't it's, in it. It's that a much. 25 minute film. And it's exactly. Great. As we're in the Birdman reality, that's yeah. what we are. We are. We are yes, we are. Reality. This is, is the Batman Man film. This is it. Him and he's yeah. going, just do it again. Get out there. That's what the audience want. They just want action. They just want yeah. action. They don't want this drama <laughs> crap. And like, that's what Someone needs to right talk now. to. Like we need an interview with Michael Keane about that. We need him to address it. I need him to know. Mm -hmm. Like you, you did the Bird yeah. film, and then you did the Flash. Like, yeah. Do you, do you see any connection? Or... In fact, cut those movies together. Have have Birdman come in, and then have all the sequences of his like flashing to the future of Hey, you want to well, talk about that? It, wasn't he nominated for? An Academy Award for that didn't win. Yeah, I don't Bird, think he didn't get Birdman won. Yeah, but Birdman, I don't think he did. He didn't win for his acting job, and everybody kind of expected him to. Mm. So it, it kind of he feels like it was really good. Oh, it kind is of that feels the one like that went to Leonardo? Thing. Remember when Eddie, remember when, uh, Eddie Murphy was expected to win that supporting actor, and he didn't. And he got fucking pissed, man. Yeah. That he got pissed. He's like, "This is it. This is gonna be my recognition." Never happened. Fuck Hollywood. Oscars don't need a stupid yeah, I think that award. was the year The Revenant got the acting nod for yeah. gave him the, the Oscar fight leaks. They felt bad. Because he got he... mauled by a CGI bear. And <laughs> like... When Michael Keaton didn't win, apparently he turned to the person next to him and said, Do you want to get nuts? Come on. <laughs> Let's get nuts. Let's, get nuts. <laughs> uh, Let's do Batman again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, uh, uh, way, at least, uh, look, he's 71 years old. He's 71. <laughs> I would be, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> if I hit 70, I'd be like, yeah. I'm on fucking way better time at the better. moment. <laughs> the the well died He's 70. Man. He looks really good for 70. Yeah, he, he does. 71. I thought he looked great 71. in the basket, too. Yeah, that, that line delivery really yeah. did feel like it was the first take and didn't even know what tone he was supposed to go for. Yeah. It was he so did, yeah. No, it was like, you know, he said to the director, I'm going to say this fucking once. That's one, it. Yeah, you get it <laughs> once. You <laughs> get it <laughs> once. We've got the budget for one Batman. take. We are <laughs> running out of money. For this shit. <laughs> Being low on money would really explain why only one Flash had powers throughout most of the movie. Yeah. Uh, if the effects were good, yes, I would. I would. Agree yeah, with that. they were good. I mean, it seemed arbitrary, right? Like he no, lost his powers. So low money. Got struck even make any by the lightning again. Just like it, Dude, when he lost the powers, I was just like, oh, okay. Why? They put <laughs> boatloads of money. Into money why you know, would he that, like, write that he lots and lots of money? We just don't know where it went. That's that's. Why, why didn't he get double powers if he was struck by lightning? I was going to say why? Why did yeah, he? he and if that takes away his powers, he could actually go back to normal life by just re-simulating the accident. Yeah, but that, when I, when he got struck by the lightning a second time, I thought it was going to supercharge his powers or something. Like they're going to double, but no, they just, they just took him away for some reason. Well, I know that he doesn't have them in Flashpoint, and he has to get them back. And I, I, I honestly, I don't remember how he lost them in that. Well, I remember what? the uh, the reason why in the animation is because he changed everything, and the changes that he made made that's it to right. where he never got the yeah. powers. Yeah, 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 yeah. He he like arrived and oh yeah 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 that's, that's right. Yeah, out. yeah, it's mm. been a couple of years since I saw that movie. Read read the comics. Way better. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sure. You've got Thomas Wayne in there. He's pretty awesome, actually. Especially when she's oh, yeah. fucking murdered. <laughs> Remember when I've the kids all get the kids all get fucking murdered? Yeah, I've, Flashpoint? I, I, I just realized no. I've seen that film. I liked it, the Flashpoint Paradox animation. I just saw it ages I, ago. Yeah, yeah, it was a long. I only remember little parts about it, um, so I need to rewatch it. 
as ever, the comic is way better. Way There's better. a sequel, I think, sort of, called uh, Suicide Squad, like Hell Bent or something like that, where like the Reverse Flash comes back and he tries to steal this card. It's actually from a Gil Simode comic book, where it's in Secret Six, where it's like a card that if you die with holding it in your hand, you automatically go to heaven. So all oh. the criminals are trying to get it, and including Reverse Flash. Sounds well, shit. Secret <laughs> Secret but six. you did say Gail Simone, so that it's explains Simone, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you really yeah. want to read like an action comic book with absolutely no testosterone in it, try Secret Six. <laughs> <laughs> anything written by Gail Simone. I was going to say, try anything written by Gail Simone. And you'll be <laughs> Last, that Classic Man series she did was awful. Pick, pick, uh, a, pick a lot anything. Of stuff she did the was Flash awful. thing that yeah. she did? Fucking hell. Thankfully, thankfully, she takes a long time because she likes to stand around her fridge and tweet all day. And tweet not write comments. all day, every day. All She's day. a professional Twitter twatter. Thirty hours a day, somehow. Yes. Somehow no, she she wants Basically, the Flash's the powers Slott. to go back in time to tweet more. And She's <laughs> the female <laughs> version of Dan Slott. <laughs> Do you think Christina Hudson's going to get uh, another DC film? Uh, hey, what? what? Christina Hodson, do you Didn't think she's going to get another uh, DC film? Oh, probably. She's in the DCU writer's room, dude. Yeah. <laughs> With Tom King yes. and James Gunn. She's, she's still there. <sighs> Tom King. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Did uh, Ryan um, go another round on his Asian tanning bed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he had a bad storm, he said, at the beginning when he came in. Yeah, so. he did. He did. Yeah. He, he died of jaundice. <laughs> <laughs> he was too Asian to stay on the stream. He was wanting to cosplay as a Simpsons character. You're in the wrong universe, Ryan. <laughs> yeah. Get it wrong. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, before we get to these soups, uh, I guess any final words on Flash that we'll probably end up talking about Bad. some more. But... <laughs> Terrible, but I don't care because I love yeah. Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Batman, uh, Batman, I sorry, Batman. Batman. I would say don't yeah. waste your money on this movie. Just if you want to see it, wait till it's streaming. Watch, watch the uh, watch Batman the clip. clips. Yeah, nearly, watch the clips. nearly comics. If you want to see it, wait until it's streaming. Then somebody can rip it onto a site for you. <laughs> yeah, there's that too. So at least you get an HD version, you know, yeah. rip up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing people be a lot more forthright with that on Twitter these days, like actually sharing links and sites and images and videos. It's just like, I guess, I guess people don't give as much of a fuck anymore. Jay Longbone doesn't give Dude, a fuck. No, not, no, no it's fuck. Just like slots.com. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's the one? It's like the bet one expat or something. One expat, yeah. yeah. One expat. <laughs> We wouldn't know oh, anything about no, 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 allegedly, not, not in the slightest. That's allegedly what the name is. You know? Yeah, in fact, that was just a guess. I don't. Even... Yeah. That was a really I, good looked, guess. I thought you the film was, was absolute, dark, an absolute you know? mess. Yeah. It was an absolute mess. There's no denying it. But I did find there were moments of levity that I enjoyed, and I did enjoy Keaton, and I certainly enjoyed Ben Affleck. So to say goodbye to sort of uh, Gal Gadot, Ben Affleck, um, I'm a, you know, it was a nice way for them to go. They actually went out pretty well. Uh, but Ezra Miller is a fucking disaster in this Somebody film. Needs a disaster. To do that, just the Batman edit and just keep the yeah. Batman and Justice League shit and get rid of short film. Like yes, a short film. Yeah, it's all good. That's what I'd yeah, watch. The Batman and Supergirl <laughs> yes. movie. I bet you that movie, be a... I, would, I would so much rather have had that film, Batman and Supergirl, based on what we got, you know? You remember, like, um, with Days of Future Past, it's, they send back Wolverine. and But, you yeah. know, I'm saying this, as writers, they just they make it so that that was what they had to do. Why don't you just fucking make it so that the Flash is like, I have time control powers, and Batman's like, send me back. And you send Ben Affleck back, and he ends up in a Michael Keaton universe. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like, oh, God, give me that movie. Batman, you, know, you know, more luck, like, more like... Give it like ten Batman. years, and and AI will be at a point where you could write that prompt in, and yeah. you'll get that film. <laughs> but will it be as funny as this? <laughs> Honestly, that <laughs> only if only you put it in. Michael, Michael, I still I still think they'll make a Michael Keaton Batman in ten years. Like he's gonna be eighty one. <laughs> oh, well, like, like, we're ready for like Batman Beyond. We had to wait till he got it. You want to get nudge? Well, they got to get nudge. Terry, come here. Terry, come here, man. Uh, they can bring in Phoebe Waller-Bridge. 
Uh, oh, oh no. yes. Yes. she can be Terry. Yes. She can be the. the best. There you Wait, go, Jack, Odin. Jack Terry, so Terry with an eye. Yeah, exactly. Is Jack Nicholson still alive? I'm bringing him back for the Joker. He's back. Oh, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back baby. The internet you, went out for a second. You look slightly less yellow, but it's coming back. Yeah. Well, fuck. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> you guys said to do this. I don't fucking know. <laughs> At the end of the movie, I kind of did want to see, to be perfectly honest, personal of address. I, I, I really wanted to see a Nicholas Cage Superman in that universe, and then we would have like a uh, Batman played by the great Steven Seagal. I think that'd be a good combination. <laughs> oh my God. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> I think it would have been nice to have seen him among I'm the Batman, cameos. I know Tai Chi. Just I like have Modoc, though, you know. I'm Batman. Imagine, like, a, I love China. A whale. We, I want to see because I want to see Batman do a fight scene sitting down. I think they're pretty interesting. <laughs> in a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Wheelchair fight. <laughs> I beat him. Uh, God bless the Chinese Republic of China. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Roland the Wretched has uh, donated one hundred and twenty dollars in four wow. parts. Wow. Wow. wow! Wow! My, my, my. I thought episode 249 was gay, but uh, put FNQ in the land of steers and queers and things get weirder. Uh, the Gary three quarter gay Garrett and Eric July love triangle surpassed fapping to deep fakes of as on YouTube. Whoa, dude. Hey, uh, wow. with wax balls, I put that you in. You want to get nuts? Come on. Let's get, <laughs> let's get these nuts. And ads loving men with tits. Fucking hell, he says. Uh, the new uh, plushies look great last week. I thought makeshift pretty much nailed the comics plushie, except that the plushie was actually a little taller than comics. <laughs> <laughs> I have to thank Ezra Miller for providing uh, empirical <laughs> evidence that man buns are gay. Checkmate. No. Checkmate, Delusional. brother. Checkmate. Uh, Chrissy spent her bachelorette party dressing up like a sperm cell. She did. She, she did. did. She did. Oh, wait. She did bachelorette party. That did look like. Uh, she was like doing I the worm on top was. of like, the stripper stage and stuff. It was crazy. Yeah. Congratulations, Chrissy. Uh, getting stuffed with meat and stealing a shirtless man's pants. If you're stealing a shirtless man's pants, you just made a man naked, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't care. <laughs> but, uh, funny times. Uh, today's read is from Romans 12, 21. Do not be overcome by man buns. Overcome man buns with good. Okay. Well, <laughs> Good. Uh, Amen. Props, to, props to add for inspiring me to drop 35 pounds in three and a half months it is time to once again say hail friday night tights hail the fellowship chat thor uh and what is pt uh i don't know what pt is he says something really gay right after it, pt though. hawaiian pizza man buns and dan vask are empirically gay i completely These agree are all with wrong. that hashtag sub and neurotic until next week so long get so long gay boys <laughs> Do I have that clip? Uh, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh, so long, gay boys! <laughs> I guess this is a good time to plug the plushies, though. Oh, this is a good well, time. We got in the plush let's, at the end. Plug, let's plug our guest's book. We have... We have you want that first? We can yes, do yes. Do you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Come on. Come let's on, Barbie. Nuts. Let's go party. Oh, wait. I got to change this. Yeah, you, you. I always, oh, always. See, this is why she's not allowed to talk. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, have real currency up there. Goodness. There we go. Doc Alpha. Alpha. Dead Man's Lullaby, Volume One. Tell us about it, Literature Devil. Is he there? Is he there? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Why don't we watch the? We can watch this That's in the sure. meantime. Yes, let's watch a thing. Perfect. Perfect for the show. Guten Morgen, oh. Dr. Alpha. You have been selected as the final test for my latest invention. In fact, you're probably already feeling its glorious effects. According to my calculations, by the time you see this video, we should have about an hour left to live. Auf Wiedersehen, Dr. Alpha. 
loner. It's left that smile on your face. Right on. Yeah, that art's awesome. We gotta talk over this music, though. Oh, nice. Yeah. Da, la, la, da, this Columbia rap music, and it's we're talking one. all about yeah. right. Yeah. 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 The, one I can't. No, yeah. the art <laughs> is beautiful. Art is great, though. <laughs> All of this good stuff. Yeah. Wait, in yeah, I'm guys, Batman. I, I'm gonna say this to Graham and and Graham Nolan, especially too. Don't put copyrighted music on your trailers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. so we can play them. Thank you very much. I know you want yeah. to, no. Doctor Dead Man's Lullaby. <laughs> <laughs> Strike me down now. More Thank male God. nudity than an Ezra Miller Batman film. <laughs> not here anymore. Did he? Uh, we lost him. We oh. lost him. <laughs> this guy is fucked that? off. He's <laughs> like, the Flash killed me. I'm probably <laughs> <laughs> out. out. <laughs> back in. Hey, uh, check out his book. Okay, links are being dropped by Eric K. And the also in the description. Nah, uh, it looks, the art great. looks I'm fucking in. great, dude. That yeah, art looks very nice. The art looks, looks fantastic. Uh, He's told me about the story, and it's actually phenomenal. And so you saw some of it in the trailer. So he, he basically has uh, so much time to live. And uh, he's got to get the antidote in a certain amount of time, and he goes on this kind of killing spree and things. And so, cool. that's good on him, man. Looks good. Mm. It's really good. And we got another. Speaking of, uh, don't play the trailer. <laughs> okay, I wish okay. I Graham, uh, wait, uh, but Graham? uh, Graham's book, yeah, Joe Frankenstein. Woo -woo. Today, like twelve hours left or something on that. Yeah, yeah. ends today. Uh, and apparently, it's got copyrighted music on it too. Uh, <laughs> so. Oh, come on, yeah, let's, 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 let's get that at least 80k. Come on, 80. Come wow. on. Yeah, yeah, look yeah, at yeah. that art. Hell yeah. So if you could that's help That's Graham uh, Nolan art. That's why. Our, mm -hmm. our, our Nine hours left. Graham oh, Nolan. Yes. Chuck Dixon. Uh, Chuck Dixon, who's working for the Ripiverse. And oh. and I wonder when Graham's going to work for the Ripiverse. Yeah. That's got to happen. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I already, I already worked for them. Say. I was unloading boxes. All right. Yay. Yeah. Hey, literature devil is hey, back. I'm back. I also hey. got hit by the internet curse, but I'm back now. It's okay. Oh, okay. Chad did a pretty good job selling your book. So <laughs> thanks, Chad. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> I tried. I no, wouldn't be able to do as good a job as you. I tried to give the brief kind of you know pitch about how how your story begins, where he gets the you know injected and he has to find the cure. I like it. The art looked really good, dude. Yeah, my artist mm -hmm. uh, interior is Preston Acevedo. He, I think he's working with Wesley Snipes as well. I, I've heard. Oh, in his book. Yeah, sure. Wesley Snipes. I think Wesley Snipes is coming out with a book mm -hmm. that we're. Uh, I forgot. I don't know what it's, exactly it's about, but here's Doctor Alpha, is Dead it, Man's Lullaby, Volume One. Evading taxes, maybe. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> and all here is what case. Taxes but, um, based. <laughs> Dead, Man's, oh, on. Dead Man's Lullaby, Volume One. Um, this is uh, <laughs> we're just twenty years before the, my first book. Uh, he just wakes up one day in uh, in Ooh. while on vacation. Oh, takes a white one in the balls there, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. yeah, right. Ooh, fuck it <laughs> uh, my, That's that change. looks like it hurts. <laughs> in fact, my artist says this is probably one of the most violent comics he's ever worked on. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's uh, yeah. by the way. So he has um. What would you say? The art's great. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. my my artist Preston Savedo mm. did. He went above and beyond on each and every page. So he like he he designed all the the bad guys. That went, the, the original script had it to where it was just they were just regular dudes, but what he he designed each one specifically. You just scroll scroll up, extra girl. Up, uh, yeah, yeah, just a bit, little bit more. Uh, is that oh, down? Is that a <laughs> woman or a man? <laughs> <laughs> No, that's, that that was a woman. Okay, great, great, great boobs, great boobs. Then. Yeah. <laughs> I, gotta make sure I, gotta make I love sure. how you had to ask first. <laughs> what's, what's the pronouns? He's, He's like, they're not going to get me today. <laughs> not today, Satan. Not, not, not today. today. <laughs> oh my God, that's um, crazy. But the, I, I referred to her as like a. I kind of made her like a more uh, competent Harley Quinn. She is crazy, but she also is ex CIA, ex military. And uh, I kind of based this battle that she has in with her in the kitchen uh, off of the raid two, and they also have the battle in the kitchen. Is why she has karambits. Uh, so we have that in there. Nice. And uh, I've had a lot more pages since then. Uh, there is something though that you might 
I uh, find interesting. Let me see. Let me see if I can find a safer work version of this. I mean, <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. And there's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of violence, a lot of interesting things. Um, the it's so he so he wakes up one day. The, the story is he wakes up and uh, he has that the video turns on with his uh, former colleague, Dr. Mendel Cloner, which is another mad scientist, uh, all of a sudden turns against him. And he has no idea why. And we have we get to see why there's an, this unfolding mystery as he goes uh, goes out of his way to try to get to Cloner. And we see there's a much something much larger at play here. And this is something this is a, this book will kind of set the universe. Build they have a lot of world building, a lot of characters, uh, set a lot of storylines, and uh, expand on a plot point from the first book, which has to do with superhuman cloning. Uh, so it's going to set up a lot of stuff. <clears throat> Dr. Rob is kind of a static character in this one, but it's more about the world being the character in this one. Nice. And Very volume nice. one will be like the first half where he's kind of trying to, he's off balance and trying to get to, trying to get to a, the weapons. Cause he, he, he calls his informant. He calls uh, his connection to a company called Oculus limited, which is a, basically a company that sells super weapons and super villains. And it's like, I need you to, you know, get me some weapons. And so he, he has to go to rob a bank and then he goes over there to, uh, to meet her and some other a lot of drama, a lot of stuff unfolds. Uh, let's see. Let me take a part. Ah, and of course, while he's at the bank uh, after this battle, I have a little something here that you might enjoy. Uh, right here, like three superheroines come in to stop him, and they might not be completely on the level. Oh, and uh, as you better check. Well, I, I was thinking. I was thinking. Uh, I wouldn't want to hug the one on the right because that could get nasty. Oh no! Oh yeah. But so like, those outfits. That that outfits are great. Yeah. So, it's uh, awesome. the, this this book is not political or anything. It's not. I just. Uh, it's not it's my not. fault. Okay. It's not my fault that the Marvel creators have managed to make characters that are, make great villains. It's just. It's just a coincidence. So I, I just say, hey, wouldn't, wouldn't Riri Williams be a great villain somewhere? So I made her into one. <laughs> she That's already great. is a villain, man. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. She is. So I made. So I went over here and I made her a villain that or a hero with a with a crew of other heroes. They were best friends, and uh, they are in it for the glory rather than the kind of like the how some of the boys heroes are kind of like in for the glory, not really for the superhero part. Uh, I, I have the idea of I'm going to compare some of the <clears throat> heroes here who are in it for the glory versus some actual other heroes who are in it for, you know, helping people. I even have a, uh, a, a another hero who's just going to pop in for a second here to get run over by an armored truck, or he's like a YouTuber and, and an influencer. <laughs> <laughs> or, or he's like, a, I'm, look, 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 listen, Mr. President, I'm talking to you, and he gets hit by an armored truck and splatter all over the place. God, that's hilarious. Uh, awesome. But uh, we have. I, I'm really hoping. Okay, so we got this backstory here. Look, they're like, you know, on top of the thing. Everyone's like, yeah. <laughs> I, I've said these signs are going to say like uh, capes over cops, things like that, because their <laughs> whole agenda is to put faith in superheroes. You know, them over the you know the actual police. And I actually, I in true Marvel fashion, I have a little a little uh, segment of them just eating in a restaurant, fully in costume. God, I was eating pizza. So there's a little backstory about who these heroes are. I even have a little joke in there. Cheese where, pizza, uh, no. whatever you want them to eat. Pineapple. Just, 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 just you know. <laughs> no, no reason. As Freemasons, we like uh, cheese pizza. Apparently, <laughs> cheese. Uh, so, because like, you stuff. know what that means. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Lots just of like I, well, good, well, can you tell me? Because I've got no fucking idea. <laughs> You're wearing the black shirt, <laughs> as I mean, <laughs> as as you you know what this pizza means. Um. Okay, sure, Gary. Yes. <laughs> yes, about. I do. I'm look, looking a little bit. No, no. Are you fucking with me right now? Or are you doing? I have know? no idea what cheese pizza means. Not a clue. Well, the don't look it up. I mean, I got told that wearing black makes you a fucking Freemason because you wear black. But don't worry about all the pictures you show where you're not wearing black. Does that mean you're not <laughs> as black as Gary does? You don't want them eating cheese pizza. You definitely do not want them eating cheese pizza. Okay. Absolutely okay. not. Okay. Absolutely not. Okay. Um, think. Uh, oh, someone said cuties. Fans oh, in the playground. Oh, no fans way. in the playground. Yeah. 
yeah. Fans of cuties. Oh. Fans of cuties. Vito. Mm. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. gotcha. <laughs> yes. So Vito wears black? <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, it's slimming too, mm. I guess. But oh, that's why I wear it. That's why I wear it. <laughs> <laughs> so well, continue. Uh, so one thing here is that uh, in the original script, Dr. Alpha was going to be naked throughout the entire comic book, but some people objected to that. So we gave him pants. So <laughs> now he has pants. <laughs> but if you, do get the, if you get the signed version, okay, uh, I, I think it might be back here. I do have, a, I do have the elevator scene uh, in the campaign page. But I'm not sure if it's safe for work because he is naked in that one. But... <laughs> Because it's the print that you still get. It used to be where he was naked all the way through, but we have since given him pants. So the print that you get with a sign perk uh, is going to have the archaic, like the old version of him where he's naked, having killed all these guys. And Bryce Nelson of course, does something great. He did a great job uh, making these scenes brutal and savage. You know, there, there he's at the assaulting this museum that's, that's going to be the fighting ground in volume two. Uh, there is a spoiler where you get stabbed with the eye and <laughs> I just had to find this thing. All right. Was oh, there it is. I have to say that. But all right. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh my God, that's great. <laughs> so in the original, he was just naked. So uh, that's so actually kind of funny. <laughs> so okay. So uh, what happened here is that there's a regular hotel lobby. This middle class family is is going to the, the elevator. The dad is I have the dad telling a dad joke about stairs. How they always lead up to something, uh, and then. He opens up and goes, boom, they see this. <laughs> 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 and then Dr. Alpha's, his, Dr. Alpha's dialogue here is going up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. It's got, it's got a very Jeff Darrow kind of Robert Williams kind of <laughs> to it. I like it. I like so it. If, uh, if you don't like the, the, the art's fantastic. Kind of movie, the art's great. Uh, it's wait to see the battle in the bank. But that's for, I guess, another day. You know, like, you know, when you get it. Yeah, don't ruin it. Yes. Yeah, oh, don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, some... make them, you make them open up first. Yeah. But I, I, I put a lot of gravitas in there. I put a lot of stuff you want to see, violence and all that stuff like that. There's nudity in there, of course, both male and female nudity. But then I, I get you with the, I, I kind of have a base mm -hmm. of, there's going to be drama, interpersonal reasoning, the reason why Dr. Alpha turned evil, things like that. So it has some really, really, really heavy moments in there. Uh, underneath all of the, the gratuitous violence and stuff. Good. <laughs> I like heavy moments and gratuitous violence. That's a good thing. So links. Can you will just be... make sure the tits are on the women, please? I get <laughs> <Yes>. confused. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, hey, he already said that some of the women aren't fact, on the open up as. Okay. They will be exclusively on women. Yeah. I mean, he I said recommend. male and female nudity, so we're going to get nuts. Yep. Yeah, this, you want nuts? <laughs> I'm gonna give you nuts. Well, Come on, and let's melons. Get nuts. well done. Yay! Uh, thank that looks great. Uh, again, links will be in the chat. Thanks to the mod Rodix. Let's bring back Grams real quick. He's got nine hours. Nine hours. Nine. <laughs> nine, nine, hours nine, nine. 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 Grams. Joe Frankenstein. Joe Frank. Part do. Part do. So yeah, if we can get it to eighty. Be awesome, be awesome. To 100 by the time they get uh nine hours left but uh yeah this is all theirs and it's uh it's it's universal monsters meets uh you know like I'm, they probably won't like me saying it but traditional comic art like real comic art not the bullshit that you see now uh, did you even see that fucking the flash poster reminded me of a modern comic cover it uh, the one where they're all staring off in the fucking space oh and but yeah, you know, all this blank space on the top. Yeah, like, yeah, the yeah. Fuck? So you know, Graham still knows how to do this thing called being dynamic. You know, it's composition, like, composition. Mm. It's fucking great. You know, so it's a skill. It's a skill. Yeah. Hail Graham! Look, it's fifty percent off for sign in green. Uh, by the way, comics are thriving, dude. Uh, they're doing great. Um, thriving. If you're uh, an independent creator and selling them on your own, you're <laughs> fucking doing great. But hey, uh, that's not fair. <laughs> Also, if you're in manga, yeah, also uh, if yes. you're big, stop oh, laughing. Absolutely. Or if yeah, you're making laughing manga. Uh, bon Dessine is not doing so bad either. But uh, I used to you're, shop there. If you're American, uh, well, they're dead. If you work for Marvel <laughs> or DC, but uh, that's okay because everybody's gay now. Everybody's gay. Uh, they did a whole thing on what uh, uh, Apollo and the Midnighter. 
I saw that going around on Twitter. Ooh, that's good. DC Comics, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, God, did you see DC's tweet today about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what oh, I was talking about, Jesus the authority. God. And by the oh, way, yeah. folks, if you don't know, that's the authority. That's going to be yes. the second movie in yes. James Gunn's DCU. The, the authority. Second. Everyone knows the authority. After Superman. After Superman, the authority may appear. Before Batman. And yeah. it's going to be in the same universe with the Justice yes. League, but yeah, done before. Be it's so dumb and out of place. It's like, yeah. and I like the authority, but come on, this is Unless just, every just, single one of them gets killed. The authority is fine as as a right at the end, dude. As 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 a, as a comic that come out after the Justice League had been around for decades. Yeah, right? exactly. Just like Flashpoint's a great story to adapt after you've read decades of Flash comics. <laughs> Right, yeah. it's not something you fucking start with. Not the it's so yeah. dumb. <laughs> because the authority is a knockoff, to, <sighs> like the fiftieth knockoff, knockoff of the Justice League. Like, what if Superman's bad? What if Batman and Superman are gay? What if they were dogs? What if yeah, what, what if they were bad and both gay? <laughs> what if they yeah. were bad gay dogs? Yep. <laughs> <Da -da, laughs> the authority, the dog authority. That's the next one. <laughs> Sorry, I was reaching there. Okay. The, the villain will be X-ray girl because she eats them. Can we just say wow. and give a give a RIP for no appearance? Oh, you mean the guy <laughs> you mean the guy who called out like all of Warner Brothers, uh, the board and the staff and Joss Whedon and everybody? They're like, and and even though they're all fired, you know what happens in Hollywood? It's like yeah, he might have been right, but this motherfucker is calling out like all the management. Uh, I'm not going to deal with him anymore. Yeah, he may call us out. The, yeah. the guy that shat all over his place of work was just like, why you no know, make me job? <laughs> yeah, well, and it was like, it, it all came down to like the accusations of racism, right? And yes. it's like, the, the problem is everybody on that set had fucking problems with what was happening, including Jeremy Irons. Like, did he? Yeah, like he talked about, like he complained about Joss and like what was happening during the reshoots. This Ooh. basically the same things that fucking Ray Porter complained about. Gal Gadot also complained about, and Jeremy Irons complained about, and Ben Affleck basically drank himself to death. Right? Like, yes. like yeah. everybody was having fucking issues with what happened on set. Well, they um, all saw that, uh, like Zack Snyder or not, th this immaterial to that is like the guy is daughter committed suicide and mm. warner brothers got rid of him yeah they, yeah, yeah becoming a distraction for his movie they brought in joss whedon who's famously an asshole on the set yeah but no fucking secret that the guy's always been an asshole on the set a lot of great uh directors again whether you like him or don't like him doesn't fucking matter james cameron's a famous fucking asshole yes. and still an asshole and it's because he makes billions that people put up with it that's it when the minute mm. he stops making billions uh, you'll hear all kinds of fucking stories about James Cameron. Tons. That's just the way it goes. I never uh, heard a, a peep, though, about Avengers. No, people were per perfectly happy on Avengers. Mm. They were. No, people get like, people like Joss. There are people who really like Joss. His career is over, though, dude. Like, he is yeah. done. And There's a so lot of weird, actors that he worked with extensively that said nothing when all this happened. And it's like, they're probably saying nothing because they don't want to shit on him, but they also don't want to defend him. But he's, he's like, his career is over for being a dick. Just for being a dick. Just for, you know, no, there's no Me Too. There's no Harvey Weinstein going on here. It's just uh, he's a an dick. asshole. You wasn't, there was some, it was yeah, like, wasn't there some Me Too stuff? There, there was crazy. some stuff that happened on Buffy, I believe. No, it was just it wasn't, it wasn't anything It was serious. a really badly worded thing. They said that yeah. uh, the actress for Dawn, Michelle Trachtenberg, couldn't be left alone with him. Yeah. Right. But the problem is... She was under, know, under 18. Yeah, you don't yeah. know if that means because he's an ass or if it because he's maybe a bit too touchy. They never specify. So you're just like, right. I, I, so a lot of people are like, oh, because, oh, because, and it's just like, no, no proof, no, not even an allegation properly. So he cheated on his wife, but so does every fucking director yes, in Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah, that's, that's not. Just, I'm you know, cheating you, on my wife right now. <laughs> I'm sure one. there are uh, working directors who yeah, apologize. Flashpoint. Way worse. Flashpoint. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think Nathan Fillion stepped up for him actually Again. over the past year. Yes, he did. Because he, he was on uh, the podcast, uh, Michael Rosenbaum's podcast. Yes, and he was. I think oh, he's he such had a good podcast, by the way. It, it is a great podcast. Yeah. He's hilarious. Yeah, James Gunn admitted that James uh, Gunn was Blue, on Blue Beetle is the official the first, first character of yeah. the DCU. But then he said that <laughs> Superman was the first film of the DCU. <laughs> it was, it, in the same sentence, it was like the same, the next one right after. 
So in other words, what? No, what I think that means is the guy playing Blue Beetle, they're keeping. Yeah. Zolo Zolo. Meridueno. He's a good actor. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Great on. Um, I I like him in the Cobra one Kai. thing that I've seen him in, which is yes. Cobra Kai. Yes, uh-huh. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm probably not going to like him in the second thing that I see him in, which yeah. is Blue Beetle. <laughs> Blue Beetle. <laughs> and also to like be fair, Cobra Cobra Kai is such this very unique thing where it's it's like detached from reality. It's like in this little yeah. space time continuum where this little valley in the eighties that only cares about karate and cops never show up to break up fights. Like, unless they're absolutely <laughs> needed to for the like, it's just like the acting's a little campy and shit. It's, it's a weird. Ryan, I, think he's got Ryan, I think he can Ryan to be fair. Cops don't come to a lot of towns to break up fights anymore. Okay. <laughs> that's true. We're but there's white people, people in this one. This is true. That's that's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's the problem we have. Yeah. That's what we got so we got a white woman in trouble. We got a white woman in trouble. <laughs> 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 oh, no, I love oh. scary movie. Hey plushies. Plushies. Link in the plushies, description. Plushies. Plushies. Get them right now. Make ship. Spend all your money. Uh, Jeremy. <laughs> he'll show up. We don't, we're not selling his plushie. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, fuck Jeremy. Yeah. Fuck Jeremy. <laughs> Odin. Almost there. 16 away. And run. Nice. Yeah. Oh, you can buy Jeremy's. 92% funded. That's awesome. Go, 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 go. If you get all four, you get a discount. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. that's, that's right, baby. Here. Maximum. It- maximum. Oh, where's Ryan's? I don't see Ryan's yet. I will get there. I'll get there. Right there. Come on. You can bring. Yeah. All right, man. Thank Woo. you, guys. Thank yeah. you guys. I like the Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah, everyone thinks yeah. it's a crayon. Uh, it looks like Aww. a crayon. <laughs> yeah. uh, we put Ryan Mountain and his crayon. That's what I thought it was. Yeah. yeah. It's like I couldn't have, have be the gray wizard. Uh, yeah. I, I thought I was going for they like wouldn't let me be the, the like grand wizard, Gary. For reasons. I love the RK, the RK on the chest is awesome. Yeah. Great. It's Grab great. Grab what you can. Yep. Yeah. Let your dog violate. Look them. at the ass on that thing, too. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't want that? <laughs> Who doesn't want to spank that? Come on. <laughs> so I've been um, telling what? people, like, we just want you to buy them. We don't care what you do to them after. Yeah. Oh, I don't man. care if you make them fight <laughs> each other, if your judge. dogs hump them or bite them. <laughs> I don't care if you proper. fucking hump them. Um, <laughs> just I'm buy looking, them. Yeah, just I'm buy them. Forward to cut like, a hole in the have bottom, a, have them hump you each other. I, you know, <laughs> yeah. do what you like. I Stick want, legs in each I other. I don't sit yeah. on its face. All right. <laughs> Wait, you can sit on your face. Whatever you want to when do. When you again. get, the, yeah, yeah. You can scissor. Had they can scissor all kinds of stuff. Scissor uh, me timbers. Especially speaking of when does the diversity line come out? Uh, is that that's the next one? Right? That's the next one. Yeah. 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 X-ray. Chrissy and myself. All the chicks and POCs. Wow. Yeah. Mm, <laughs> is the diversity line. Altogether. <laughs> Are you have you already sorted out? Are you already sorting that out at the minute? No. Right. Okay, I'll speak. I'll speak. <laughs> I haven't got an email either. I love that as is like the liaison for all this. I know. <laughs> pointed as as the a liaison He's for like, the son of a bitch. <laughs> so, I know. Uh, by the way, folks, uh, this is just an indulgence. Uh, freaking Grand Tour dropped an episode Woo! today. Yeah. Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see it. Uh, Euro Crash. Uh, I saw a clip. It looks freaking great. So, if you're a fan of Jeremy Clarkson. I got my I got Mrs. Nerdrotica sitting right over there. She's obsessed with Clarkson's Farm now. That's right. Nice. <laughs> Great freaking show. Great show. Uh, go check it out after this live stream. Hey, I got here, we, here we go. Uh, this is this is this oh, is what we need. As, as well. Okay, we're done plugging now. We're done. No, we're not. We're <laughs> absolutely done plugging now. Yeah. Not going to talk <laughs> about your show. Don't plug me. That yeah. was a lot of plugging. Are we Just plug, plug the plushing. Plugging. Like oh, this plug dog plushing. is plugging yeah, it, Ryan. White dogs just, love me. <laughs> <laughs> why I gotta be what? <laughs> it's gotta be Dude, white. we all know we all know the color of lipstick, mate. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, hey, away. I do have a show coming out. It's called Normal World. It's on June twentieth, uh, ten p.m. Eastern. I said eight p.m. before because I'm I'm stupid and I don't know what time zones are. Uh, <laughs> but ten p.m. Eastern, uh, nine p.m. Central, on okay. our YouTube channel. Link in the description. Day after Juneteenth, can't wait, right? Can't yeah, wait, can't like wait, can't wait. Late. But just on time. Looks, looks funny as fuck, dude. 
Bro, I saw yeah. some people. Oh, well, I'm excited for that. I saw some people being like, "Hey, I on the holiday Monday, Flash is set to you know make some more money because all the people for Juneteenth, Juneteenth, ninety five percent of all schools are gonna be closed." Yeah, it's like it's fucking middle of June. Of course, schools are out. What are you fucking talking about? <laughs> Dude. I know that that's that's like the reparation of holidays. Like when they finally get reparations we'll out, give you one. Uh, money won't be worth it thing. So you know, no. about a million dollars gonna be worth a, a loaf of bread. Yeah. What do we um, get? Do I get another holiday? What? For being Veterans an asshole. Day. I mean, Veterans I think day. assholes day should be a holiday. I think it should. <laughs> I would well, like, National yeah, Day of Racism. Day. <laughs> day National of Racist Day. <laughs> We gathered here today to celebrate racists. It's like, <laughs> it's like the purge. It's like the purge, but just running around with racist. <laughs> what, yeah. One day, it's like a podium. You just if you're a racist, scream the N word. <laughs> there's a, there's if you're a, a racist, then... let me hear you say yeah. yeah. <laughs> if like, you're a racist, let me hear you say to, oh. to mitigate uses of the hard R N word. The government decided that one day every year, everyone oh has the N word pass. <laughs> Beginning in three, two, two, one. <laughs> I mean, who's to say that wouldn't work? It is, it is Ryan. <laughs> I've never seen Ryan so happy. <laughs> got a big party. He doesn't yeah. smile a lot, but one day a year, he you really can't does. wipe it off his face. <laughs> I fucking lose my voice from streaming so much. <laughs> oh, Gabriel. So you- <laughs> for $49.99. Thank you. Anyone watch the new Black Mirror season? Not yet. It just dropped. I had no idea uh, nope. it was still going. Yep, yeah, it, it is. Uh, the Joan and Locke Henry episodes were great. Demon 79 was awful. It had nothing to do with the tech dystopia theme of the show and contained more tired republicans and tories are all closeted fasted messages that's 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 it. typical uh pretty, yeah. Pretty much black, yeah. yeah yeah that's black mayor because they're the good guys because their party never does anything wrong they're not corrupt at all right. nope. but, but, <laughs> is, it, is your president a raving pedophile uh, and a racist and the sons a crackhead a pedophile our, our president's a wannabe dictator okay that's what he is that's why I get uh, some so well with Canada. With prime minister. Yeah. Your prime minister is the son of a dictator. And a lot of you dictator. Yeah. He's the son of a dictator and he takes his policies from China. 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 China, China never doesn't left the country. Him. Kind of Bang- Bangerous? Bangerous. Bangerous. Mr. Bangerous for $100. Thank you, Mr. Bangerous. Bangerous. Hail Friday Night Tights. This is a blatant promotion for my original Modern Warfare trilogy commentary slash an- an- Oh, I got to say it my way. Anala. I can't do it now. Anala. Anala. <laughs> stroke. Anala. <laughs> I had a stroke right there. It felt good. It's just a little, like less, I, it's a little less I don't remember of the world. <laughs> it just felt right. It just felt right. Can't wait to see Star Wars again for the that first toast. time. Uh, <laughs> video coming 23 figure uh, figures that Activision would try to unalive itself when I make a video remembering their good old days. Love you all and happy early Father's Day! Happy yeah. early Father's Day! Yeah, happy early Father's, Father's Day. Day, fathers! I'm sure we're gonna hear a lot about the patriarchy. Oh, you know it in the coming weekend. And uh, I just want you to know that they've done quite a bit bridges, buildings. You're welcome. You're welcome. Cars, internet, electricity, yeah. oxygen, <laughs> all modern. Pretty much invented stuff. everything. Maintain everything. Sewage, Home. water. Yeah. <laughs> Antibiotics. Your yeah. poop would be back. Architect- in that- uh, agriculture. Food on the Farming. Yeah. Space. Wait, wait. Women were present when they brewed beer for the first time. At that, that's right. Yeah. They were present. <laughs> they were present. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah so they, they were, were the like ones Prince doing the Eric dishes. and Little Mermaid. Yeah. His presence. <laughs> Ryan, I heard that. Yeah. Uh, uh, all the women yeah. at the minute are just taking their kids to drag shows, so uh, they're not doing much. As yeah. as did yeah. you see uh, the the trailer for the anim- animated Babylon Five? I did not. It looks. Remember when they were going to do a CW show? 
Yeah. yeah, not anymore, but they're doing an animated movie that's going on the Max. Does, that, does uh, it have any spoilers for I'm actually watching it right now. I'm I'm just about to finish yes, season two for the first the trailer, time. So. Don't watch okay. the trailer. Don't watch the trailer. But um okay. yeah, I'm 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 actually intrigued. Where does it fit in the timeline? Um it's uh after the Shadow War. Two oh, years okay. after the Shadow War. And I gotta finish the show then. Odin's still, Odin's still watching it, so I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah, I, I, got, I only to... got halfway through season three. Yeah, we're kind of getting to the point where like I, that's starting to make sense to me. But you never finished yeah, the Shadow War stuff. Oh is so God. fucking I've good watched too. It like yeah. three times already, so, like all the way through. All right, Garethy, calm the fuck <laughs> down. <laughs> Garethy, jeez, <laughs> Garethy, fucking hell, Garethy. get back to your fucking knitting no, woman. Fucking <laughs> Call him Azabel. 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 <laughs> Azabel. That's perfect. Gareth and Azabel. Yeah. Azabel, Azabel and Azabel. Azabel and Gareth. Azabel, put down one of your streams, 12 hour streams, and just like finish fucking Babylon 5. What's your problem? And then watch Did, I, did I have us. to make a living? Uh, you know what? You need to hang out with your friends once in a while. Okay. Thank uh, you for being a friend. Super good. Matthew Hammond on the Streamlab side for 45 so? Did Get anyone- over it, Gary! <laughs> no. Uh, did anyone else come out of yes. the Flash okay. movie and get up of yes. what it took from us? The Superman Lives movie? Nicolas Cage looked great. I will need to watch The Death of Superman Lives. What happened oh. documentary again? It's a great documentary. Yes. Mm. yes. I see. I mean, but seriously, I, I mean, Superman lives. The script did sound crazy and dumb, like shit. fighting the giant spider and crap. It's like, I, I don't Smith think it would have been a good movie ride. at all. I would have loved to have seen it. Shad, he wrote it on a plane ride and he meant to like <laughs> write it bad. Like that's his whole thing. He's like, I meant to shit this out. And, and the reason he says that is because he's not a very good writer uh, and he's <laughs> self-defeatist and he sucks. And now we know that and he's a giant yeah. fucking fraud who just likes to smoke yeah. pot. Yes. Um, nothing wrong with smoking pot. Just don't be a giant fucking fraud. That's all. Smoke uh, weed every day. I just want to be accepted by all the I some Sidian. I some Sidian. Cheap Sidian. For fifty dollars. Fifty. Fifty. Is it sheep Sidian? I'm assuming it's. Uh, yeah, it's Black uh, yeah. Aragorn. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Black What's Aragorn. Cute. Uh, everyone watching bought an ISOM bundle for the ISOM number two campaign. Not only would you have short boxes and more vehicles on the way, but we'd also have the fourth cover on the market. Pick up a bundle today. Pick it up. You know, we suck for not mentioning ISOM two. Uh, I true. was able to get the I want it all bundle that he that uh, Eric reoffered. Right? You caught that? Did you Where catch did we get it? That? Did you catch it as? Uh. Eric was very generous and contacted me and said, I'll make sure you get a bundle. And I said to him, I said, don't you dare. You give that to someone who fucking deserves it. And that was me. So um, (laughs) (laughs) worked out nicely. (laughs) Worked out great. Thanks, ass. (laughs) Dang. What are we at? What are we at? Almost 1.4. Nearly 1.4 now. I love it. Almost, oh, that's so 20, almost at 20,000 copies sold. Right? Tracking higher than I saw. Hey guys, hey guys, ISOM 1 was a one hit wonder. And yeah, right, right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Never, 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 never came out. Right. He needs to listen to the criticism, okay? He needs Remember, to listen. And... ISOM never came out. Guys, <laughs> oh, yeah. the reason people like his comic is because. People like him and like the last really comic, talented. and he's really talented and popular. Look, okay. he's That's only all. look, he's only selling comics because he's got a fan base. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you believe? Hold, hold on, scroll back the up. Nerve of him. Can't believe. Look at look at that art. They didn't even like have an editor look at this. There's a big watermark on the page. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm not saying anything. Oh, yeah, where's the dialogue in it? It's not even <laughs> what are even his powers? Oh what are even his powers, man? I think it's punching. He's, com- he's committing assault it's, against those bad guys. His powers are sleeping, obviously. <laughs> yeah. My favorite critique of the last book was like, who's the bad guy in ISOM? I'm pretty sure the bad guy is a guy who's selling girls into slavery. I'm pretty sure that's the one. Pretty <laughs> sure. They're like, well, I, that's it, actually it, quite it's, normal, it's, normal it's, for those people. You know, so, you know. <laughs> it depends how much the one was acting up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eric, July, congratulations, my friend. Very, uh, like, Ooh. 
So stoked for the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's right Look there. Look at this bundle, guys. $3. Hey, yo. 400. Wow. It was a battle Damn. trying to get a copy of this because the website kept getting overloaded. Oh, yeah. Wild. Like, had, for the first had, like two days, it was down for like 22 hours. Yeah. Was, like, like imagine how much hours. that kind of killed momentum a little bit for it. It'll, yeah, it'll fight for my copy. But it's it got still one. tracking better. Yeah, it's wild. Than the last one. Yeah. Uh, I, I love but, that. But Eric, it's never it, coming out. No. But, uh, yeah, it's not no. going to happen. No, no. Eric, Eric, Eric's uh, all over it. He's transparent about it. He's like, this website, the website shit. Websites. Yeah, he got website. it right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. Well, there's your problem. No. Uh, there, yeah. there it the is. Website. There it is. <laughs> and, and you know what? The man's not, not stopping working on stuff. He's got all kinds of plans. Why are you looking at me like that for? Gary's <laughs> <What? Man. laughs> <laughs> like looking for affirmation. Like, oh, yeah? yeah. You don't remember anything? No, you don't remember what we right talked about? Head. Nope. <laughs> that pillow oh, talk, anyway. eh? <laughs> Gareth, eh? what are you doing, Gareth? Eh? That's why you could tell me any secret in the world because I forget them. He does. <laughs> he really does. Also forgets other things, but it's okay. Oh, you guys really are fucking just married. Kidding. What? <laughs> you guys really are married. Yeah. Right? yeah. Addressing. yeah. <laughs> no, we moved on. We moved on. You're always that. bringing up stuff in the past. All right. Oh, you like from last <laughs> week. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, thanks, Sheep. Uh, the Ark Spartan has gifted 10 neurotic memberships for $50. <laughs> and he has been, he was followed by not another dime who gifted 10 neurotic memberships for $50. 50 50 50 50, 50. Hell, guys, thank you. The members appreciate so that. Much. The Rookie Critic. What's up, man? For $100. Damn. Oh, yeah, man. What's up, man? Thank you. Hail Friday Night Tights. I heard George Lopez was Batman at the end, and they could have made Mr. Freeze the governor of Gotham. Missed opportunity. If the Flash didn't do the trick, I'm working on a short film series called The Fat Speedster, and I don't even have my own cult yet. Well, work on that, yeah. Rookie Critic. That'd be awesome, <laughs> Fat Speedster. You can't be in our cult. That would be kind of funny. I can already see better visual effects. Better I would have loved to see fucking Schwarzenegger in this movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fucking oh, man. chill. Damn. I, well, chill. I said it. Everybody it, it chill. Would, there was so that. much fucking goofy shit. I said it early on fucking the daily stream. I was like, if he would have just fucking been at that bed and been like, I'm going to put Zod on ice. Like, it's just an ice. <laughs> it would have been fucking Ice great, to meet man. you, Zod. I would have given the film an 11 out of 10. I, I, was, I was actually expecting, right, for there to be this multiversal kind of gathering of different people from different universes coming in to defeat Zod. Um, that's what, that's what I, mean, I yeah. thought it was leading to. But At then the end, imagine it's an yeah. end game and like portals open up and you have yeah. Nicholas <laughs> Superman coming in and you got Christopher Reeve come, yep. coming in and fighting and mm -hmm. like, and then you have Mr. Hey, Freeze. Mr. What Freeze killed the dinosaurs? Like, like the ice Age! Ice Age. <laughs> the big fucking asteroid. Ah, <laughs> uh, we also have Patrick Ells for $50. 50 50 I think Kevin Conroy would have been a perfect pick for an older Bruce Wayne in a Batman Beyond movie. Too bad. They did that uh, in a show. They yeah, they did. did. And, and they, they probably killed him. him. Let's Friend never him. speak about that. Again. <laughs> <laughs> he's, it, he's great as a voice of Batman. Yes. Too bad uh, Will Fri Friedel? Friedel? Uh wouldn't work as well. R.I.P. Friedel. Oh, Friedel. Friedel. Yeah. That's L E, though. Uh, R.I.P. Kevin Conroy. Yep. R.I.P. Mm -hmm. R.I.P. R.I.P. Yep. You see that tweet that was going around that was trying to shame people into going like, Kevin Conroy did all this stuff, and he was a great voice actor, but he was really just a gay guy, and that oh, was yeah. his main achievement. No, uh, yeah, I still, I still think of sexuality. You. None of us cared yeah. about that. We cared about his no. great voice acting and his talent. Like, right. same, same with him, because he never let it define him. He never right. let it become anything. But we, everyone knew he was gay. It, it wasn't, it wasn't a secret. It was an open secret. I didn't. Uh, I said that in my my sort of I eulogy video to him. Yeah, yeah I mean, um, but it was an it was an open secret. It really was, and and it, it didn't matter. It, nothing, whatever. That's your life. Does not matter. He, he was in a tremendous actor, tremendous voice actor, uh, and he I just absolutely exemplified what Batman is in in his work. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
yeah, the fact that people now are trying to reduce into a sexuality just proves how it's superficial these people truly are. They don't look at the content of someone's character. Yeah. They look at the color of their skin. They look at their ethnicity. They look at their gender, the sexuality. Those people are fucking scum. Scum. That's why this fucking month is a fucking shot. It's an absolute fucking disgrace. You have, you have fucking a few days ago, a week or so ago, 10 days, thousands of fucking men from the UK, from America, from Canada, from other countries fucking lay down their fucking lives so that these piss ants could fucking go, I'm a superficial little fuckwit and everything's down to a fucking they, them, a pronoun, a this or that. Go fuck yourself. Those fucking men gave the ultimate fucking sacrifice. Ultimate sacrifice. So that you can be the fucking gnarly piece of shit you are today and go to bed and not live in fear that you're going to get fucking dragged out, put up against a wall and fucking shot. That's what, where in other countries it's going on. You're the one who can go onto a fucking social media platform and fucking talk about uh, how repressed you are, how fucking under the thumb you are, and all this shite, when really you are the safest you'll ever be in any country at any time in fucking history. You are a yeah. fucking charlatan. This whole thing is a fucking joke. Fuck you all. <laughs> Yeah. Happy Pride. Yeah, now. <laughs> <laughs> and Gary's back. It's very, it's very true, though. Yes, it's very yeah. true. I feel like Gary and Quarter Black felt personally insulted by all of that. <laughs> yeah, they, they did. <laughs> they, had, they, had to, they had to go cry and have some makeup sex. Yeah. Over here. It was they were taking a knee. They were taking a, little, a knee. I was taking a, little a knee. Detailed. You went a little too far there. A little too detailed there. Uh, what do you think about that? <laughs> Where was I? Where was I? Patrick, Patrick L's for fifty dollars. One of the most. Uh, wait, that's a different one. That's not the one that's I was on. One. Patrick, the one more up. No, we have Trey Miller for fifty dollars. Fifty, fifty. Ask, are you aware of Henbent? Henbent, Henbent. You ever heard of Henbent? Yes. No. No. It is a farm slash Airbnb in your area. It might as well be the Shire. Not a joke. An honest recommendation for noobs, as isn't really a Kiwi. He's Welsh. Uh, also, Ryan isn't really racist. It's just a joke. Neither don't, don't blow it. What's it's, it's, it's in Wales. Man, don't blow it. I'm a quarter Welsh. <laughs> we accept him. <laughs> Thank you. You and your funny talk. Uh, Patrick L's for $50. 50, 50, 50. One of the most powerful moments for me from the animated Flashpoint movie was his mom sharing the Christian prayer, grant me the courage to change the things I can, the grace to accept the things I can't, and the wisdom to know the difference. The serenity prayer. That is a serenity prayer. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. That's a good one. I know uh, how you know that prayer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It a lot. Uh, it might be like inscribed on like a necklace around my neck. Yeah, it might be. It's actually really. It's a. It's a fantastic prayer. That's yep. true. Uh, Lord F Nord for forty dollars on the Streamlab side, circumventing whatever idiot runs uh YouTube right now. Thank you, Papa uh, Susan. Papa, Papa Susan. Uh, please sing this. I ain't singing shit, buddy. <laughs> I don't know if you want to sing it, to be honest. <laughs> oh, he sings when he loses a Oh, bit. wait, you should sing this, Garrett. I'm not fucking singing oh. this. Is <laughs> under the knee. Under the knee. In Minnesota. Minnesota. <laughs> we step on your throat. Uh, we do it for free. <laughs> Went to the score. High, uh, high as fuck. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to spend his counterfeit buck. Was thrown to the ground when he tried to leave, screaming, "I cannot breathe! I cannot oh, breathe!" <laughs> well, thank you do, so do, much. Do, 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 wow! Do, 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 do. A little hard. I wonder why that got Ryan invested into this. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan sing it. Yeah, he's, he's, he's waiting for his everything. day. <laughs> I, yeah, he's I mean, singing it along in his head. Uh, I don't know what's going into. Thanks for backing me up there, Quarter Black. <laughs> yeah, the, the only person on the panel that could get away with it. Yeah. He's like, what? So I've already got, I got a show to fall it's back on. It's all good. Know. There was more passion in that performance, though, the entirety of Little Mermaid. So. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. 
I hear that quarterbacks only got a 25% chance of getting away with it. No training <laughs> whatsoever. I know. Just all natural talent. It's all natural talent. <laughs> Disco Cobra 2013 for $100. Do you? It's for honey. Wow, man. It's QC, which I believe is a big uh, Twitch streamer, just signed a deal with Kick. Think this could be a mixer type of situation or not? Maybe. Uh, I guess it was for around a hundred. A hundred million dollars. I'd sign that Jesus. fucking deal too. Yeah, From no kidding. I'm seeing on Twitter, I don't know how real this is or if it's happening soon. I I, I don't know who's behind Mixer. What some gambling Mixer or kick. Kick. kick? kick. I'm sorry. Yeah, kick. Mi- <laughs> Mixer was the last <laughs> failed one. Mixer's probably yeah. behind. <laughs> Mixer kick. I don't fucking know the difference. I'm not going either. Mixer but, was uh, Microsoft, right? Yeah, Microsoft. Yeah. Yeah, they just signed XQC to a hundred million dollar deal. I would trust the fucking Bitcoin gambling, uh, fucking whatever porn site that owns Kick over Microsoft. Just saying. <laughs> well, Kick have just signed some streamer. I have no idea who they are. XQC. Oh, XQC is yeah, like the fucking million. biggest streamer on Twitch. Is it? So, yeah. Hundred it's not, million. It's not Ninja it's anymore. What does it? What about? No. Uh, what is? What is this? Two thousand eighteen. <laughs> what about Pokemon or whatever fucking name? Pokemon. 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 <laughs> those are women. Those are women. They'll get around to signing them some point. Okay. Was that Amaranth? I saw a photo of Amaranth. She had her fucking legs like up on. Yeah, she did. The that's yeah, weird. Uh, like only eight months <laughs> after she claimed her fake husband was uh, right. exploiting yeah. her for sexual purposes. Mm. Uh, Hold on. Well, I say only eight months since that point, but it was only like two weeks was... after that that she started posting yeah. sexualized shit again. So. <laughs> weird looks like she was taking a trip to the gynecologist and playing a game at the same time well it's like she was just trying to cut a percentage out of a profits really wasn't it? bro if mm. i if i could make if i could make fucking millions of dollars just by flicking my bean in front of like thousands <laughs> of people are you fucking kidding me like why the fuck not oh well, i'm not well, judging anyway. hey, yeah, hey. Save your you money. could try, right? <laughs> See what happens? Well, I'd have, I'd have to transition first, get one of those fake vaginas. But I, if you want me to fucking crank it on camera, like let me know in the chat. No, no, in it. no. no, no because we'll say yes. We'll say yes. <laughs> could you imagine oh, the, the hairless cat memes? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, uh, we're gonna see in about a half an hour. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. It seems like they're getting Brian. overwhelming approval. <laughs> no, no. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> don't, don't, just, do just, Gavin. don't do a Gavin. Don't do a Gavin. Just because you could get away with it doesn't mean you should. P- girls Absolutely. like Amaranth and stuff have no self respect. They're just awful hey, people. Just but they have a lot of money. They have a lot of money. Lot of money. No, no, you die, when you die, that I'm money ain't coming tra- with you. I'm willing to trade some to get another for it. Like, I mean, come on. Very nice tights, only fans edition. I've got this bucket full of self-respect. If you're telling me I can dump half the thing out and get fucking millions and millions of dollars, I'm fucking dumping that shit, bro. Come on. So I'm gonna I don't leave this bucket. I can here. refill my bucket of self-respect. <laughs> With my buckets of cash. Right. There's got to be some exchange rate that's acceptable. <laughs> Uh, WG, who we're going to see tomorrow. We're going to see right. tomorrow at the Cosmic Summit has donated $50. That's Here awesome. It's a great show. But now it's time for Cosmic Summit. See you, gents, at check-in. Uh, we'll see you in the morning. Not They, they wanted to do breakfast at 7.30. Hell no. Dude, we're not fucking doing that. Early. And then, well, what, what the fuck is a land acknowledgement? That's where you acknowledge the land that is actually the property of the indigenous people. Is that, yeah, really? is, is yes. that what that is? That it's is where, exactly like, right what that is. Build no. something on no, it, and, like, desecrate no. it. You're like, hey, like, you're like no, it. You stole no, it. That, that's what it is, man. They they yeah. basically uh, yeah. acknowledge the native population that, that we fairly and unfairly conquered this land yeah. that belonged to people before them that were already extinct. That that's what this whole conference is about. The Clovis people. <laughs> They're the indigenous people. They all the died. Whole point of the they, all died. <laughs> they weren't the original. They weren't the they, original hey, people. We show it's up alternate history. What's going on here? Maybe that's what it is. They show up like, hey. Land is my land. 
<laughs> this is land. land, is my, land. land. <laughs> my land. My land. Yeah. So please get uh, off yeah. it. Uh, like, I just want people to be a bit more uh, historically accurate when they do these kind of land acknowledgements no, that, you know, th this land was owned by these people who conquered it from these people these before people. them, who, who yes. then conquered it from right. the people before them, who then yeah. conquered it from before them. And it's like, oh, you mean that humans have been doing this? Been conquering each the shit up each other for yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. And that, yes, that's I the case. Yeah. And I should not feel, you know, be guilty for the fact that I was born on a country <laughs> yeah. out of my control. Like. Isn't it interesting that we acknowledge that for European nations, but we can't acknowledge it for our own country? That's no, just, we can't. Well, the aliens took it from the sleaze stacks. Everybody knows that, okay? Yes. So, yes. Oh, it's been documented. It's on television. Yes, it is. <laughs> and the loss. WG is hey, hey, oh, you, 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 What? You, we, we, what? Disney Plus have removed the original Avengers, and this is now oh, the no. new your new banner for, for Marvel <laughs> Disney Marvel. Yay. This has been <laughs> my favorite. Look at Shang Chi. Look at She Hulk and everything. All your uh, favorite characters. The, oh. yes, this has been their banner forever. Yeah, it's been for a while. It's always been their banner. Yeah, this Nick Cage is not on eye patch anymore. Nick Cage, Nick Fury, Nick Fury, Nick Fury, Nick Cage Fury. This looks Fury. like a bootleg knockoff of the Avengers. That's because it is. That's because it is. Um, we got a fake Black Widow, uh, girl Hulk. Wait, back up, girl Black Panther. All right, all right. Calm it's down, all Gary new, Faye. all different, all over again. <laughs> Can it be longer than 38 seconds, As? No. <laughs> as Jemima? That's my fine. <laughs> Jemima? What? So, so, we have discount Black Widow, discount um, Hulk, Black Panther. discount... Oh, not Black, Black Panther. Black Widow. Black... Oh, there's also... No, there's Widow. discount Black Widow, yeah, there's girl Black... Hulk... Uh, yep. Wanda, who I mean, we just don't is know what she is. Isn't she a villain? Wanda, I mean, yeah, Captain Black <laughs> uh, Nick Fury, who's gonna get cucked in his next show, and then we'll never see him again. Captain Marvel, uh, Star. girl Black Panther, Stock photo guy, uh, so photo guy who's not a movie star, <laughs> Star photo guy. <laughs> So I actually have, I, I actually have the most recent one that they changed it from. There's a couple differences and a couple not. So this is what it was before. Uh, you got Black Panther. Who, now that they did his thing where they're like, you're dead now, and how he's gone. So Shuri moves oh. from here to here. Um, you Thor's got Captain gone. Marvel. You got Scarlet Witch. Black Widow's gone. Thor's gone. Replaced by She Hulk. Um, <gasps> Wow. Brie Larson just has different hair now, and she's also way cooler because she liked my tweet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, Yelena. They yes. went, they went full, uh, all new, all different Marvel. This is it. They, they like yeah. finally did it, and and it's like we're not going back. And boys. they did it after it died. Like it is so fucking dead. This is DOA. The Marvels is going to flop. So it's yeah. going to flop worse than the fucking Flash. Yeah. All it's, new, no interest, Marvel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's genuinely amazing how little I care about any of the characters here. It's like <laughs> I don't know. Stock photo guy is pretty cool. Stock photo guy. <laughs> I like him when he models all my office accessories. <laughs> you know, stock photo guy has become the new Brie Larson. Quite frankly, yeah, yeah he kind of has, it, hasn't it's he? It's pretty fucked up that they even had Black Panther here when he was dead the whole time. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like that's kind of fucked up. I'm not gonna it lie. Is. But it's Disney. They covered they his put face. The, they put the fucking... China version yeah. of him. <laughs> why, yeah. Why are they hiding his face? <laughs> but they wanted you to think oh, that there's no why. Male Black Panther. I mean, this is that was it was just a fucking bait and switch. I mean, we all knew it was gonna be Shuri, but like not every new normie knew. Yeah. Now and then do. And, and they put her in at the end of the the Black Panther sequel had a Black Panther at the ooh, very ooh, end. Ooh. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks now. Oh gosh! And they had a bunch of Wakandans drown. Oh I can't remember a fucking <laughs> thing that happened in I that know, right? film. I remember Angela. I forgot Namor was in. Were out. Yeah. He was touching up women. <laughs> oh, by the way, Under I have a, underwater. If yeah. you want to, I do have a one pager of Doctor Alpha that might make you feel better. It's called PSA. It's uh, it first it goes first off. It starts off with rule of supervillainy, never sur number one, never surrender. Or you might end up hauled in by some tartan tights as some after school special. And it has as a uh, 
young superheroine who says, and that's why crime doesn't pay kids. You might think you're smart, but you'll just end up like this moron. And then there's a kid oh. in the audience that goes, Miss Nightwatch, are you a real superhero? And she goes, of course I am. And then he goes, but my dad, my dad said girls shouldn't be superheroes. And she goes, well, your sexist dad should should learn that women are just as good or better at being superheroes than men are. Watch this. She tosses him the key. And he says, are you serious about this? Like, it wouldn't be a fair fight if I didn't. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And, uh -oh. and it goes, uh, you, you, you know, I've seen you fight before. <laughs> it goes, I, it's like, I've taken you down before. Given your best shot, Alpha, these kids are going, to, going home today knowing girls can be superheroes too. And he's headbutts her while she's talking. It's like the women's soccer team. It's like the U.S. women's yeah. soccer team versus mm -hmm. the retired men. Twelve zip. Wrecks of a going down. Twelve nil later. Twelve, 12 nil, and they like backed off towards the end of the game, right? They like could. Yeah, they were really they, trying. Yeah. All yeah. their scores were like half effort. I mean, dude, I saw all twelve goals. I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> WG has gifted 10 neurotic memberships for 50 more dollars. WD! WG! WG! See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Drew, uh, dude, Randall Carlson tomorrow for two. Yeah, dude. Two Randall. and a half hours, man. It's going to be awesome. Two hours, 45 minutes. Uh, Drew Skull for $50. Late to the party. Hey, Az and Ryan. Do you think Disney should have waited until Halloween to release Secret Invasion film? Uh, Threat said it's spooktacular. <laughs> wow. The uh, as blow a gasket bag. on a and Ryan don the pharaoh uh, headdress for another video. I can't wait either, dude. I think it's just gonna. I, I don't even know if I'm gonna watch it. I may watch the first episode, but I got a. I got a feeling that apathy is so deeply entrenched in me with Marvel now. But, uh, you know, I could go. I went to the Guardians and I just felt nothing. Nothing, mate. Hey, so I don't think nothing for the Guardians. Yeah. Wait. I mean, we're back to our regular scheduled MCU. This is going to oh, be yeah. odd. Yeah. This is going to be glorious. Painful. The, bottom so of the, brain. the reason that that, uh, the reason yeah. that Super Chat exists is because apparently on Film Threat, uh, Chris Gore was able to watch the first two episodes. I think Alan was as well, but they got screeners for the first two episodes of Secret Invasion and. There's like a lot of just explicit racial commentary in it. Mm. Uh, for instance, Samuel Jackson's talking about how oh, this is how we prevented the Cold War from becoming hot. I was a spook back in the day. And Maria Hill's like, you can't say that. He's like, no, you can't say that. Like referring to spook as some sort of racial term instead of like the spy <clears throat> term. Um, yeah, it's weird. Like I've never heard spook as a racial term in my life. No, it, I'm it, Australian. It, it is. Someday yeah, I want to get you on all in, uh, Back to the Future, shout. but it's it's a very old it's, one that nobody uses anymore. Yeah, yeah, you got to educate yourself on racial slurs. Um, but yeah. also back to the future. Talk to Ryan; yeah, he'll he'll, he'll clue you in. No, yeah, right. I'll give book. you a Cliff Notes version. Um, <laughs> but but then uh, apparently Sam Jackson and Don Sheeta like have a fucking conversation. And I, again, I didn't watch it just based on listening to Chris talk about it. Uh, and if like Chris is real fed up with like racial commentary, it's pretty significant, I think. And they have some conversation about we didn't take power away from mediocre people who don't look like us just to give it to mediocre people who do some shit like that. Um, it, it That's just, so cringe. It's just very on the nose. That mediocre commentary. take is that is yeah that is straight up that the mediocre white man. That's intersectional feminism bullshit. Yep. That's I, I love that's uh, yeah. Uh, fucking Disney will not change, folks. They're not going to change. They're not going to sell shit. They're going to fucking go down in flames. I can't fucking wait. I'm going to dance yeah. around that fire naked like a we're, fucking We're watching pagan. that fire right now. It's just in slow motion. Yeah, yeah it is a very yeah. slow slow burn, but it is a burn nonetheless. Uh, People are just standing in the fire like, this is fine. As is right, like nobody's going to watch Secret Invasion. Nobody's going to give a fuck about it. They're going to come out and go, it's the most watched thing on a Tuesday in a June yeah. uh, when, when, you know, right Since before, the pandemic I mean, started. Nobody was paying <laughs> attention. The pandemic started since... Iger took a shit this morning. You know that that's what they're gonna say, and it's nobody's gonna watch this shit. And then it'll like it, it'll barely chart on the on, on the Nielsen on, the Nielsen ratings will come yeah. out and it won't be there. It won't be there won't anywhere. Be there. And then we get uh fucking the Marvels, and then it's Loki season two with Jonathan Majors, who they got who they have to fucking disappear <laughs> right now, basically. <laughs> it's it's gonna be great. Um, when Zach, great. and then the Echo gets shut out oh, of Marvel's shut down. down. Daredevil shut down 
Captain uh, Captain Black Falcon America <laughs> is shut down. Like the, everything's getting delayed. They pushed everything off uh, two years. Like yeah. the final event. Damn. Avengers, 2027. <laughs> I'll be dead. Well, it, got, it, got awesome. moved, it got moved a year to the right. Those are the that was the biggest shifts for these things. You had two different Avengers movies that got shifted to 2026 and 2027. Yeah. And won't there be like three Star Wars movies by then, apparently? Apparently. So be, again, like they can't fucking write this shit. So <laughs> because what else are they gonna do? So they shifted one of them from December of 2025 to May of 2026, <laughs> December of 2026, and December of 2027, or the supposed soft release dates for the Star Wars stuff. Okay. That's the the Ray films now gone to 2026. Right. Because they admitted that they're in the process of writing it at celebration. They're like, we think it'll be done in six weeks. Writer strike. <laughs> <laughs> so, six you know, years it's later. Like, yeah. Oh, that's not coming out. It's gonna be seven years since they they killed the franchise the and then they bring the woman back who killed it. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it's coming out. I, I think be, they're gonna use the writer strike as an excuse to shit can it. Well, maybe the, that, that can happen yeah, for a lot of stuff, or at least but, a few movies. Yeah. But, but I, be, and half of this Marvel shit won't fucking happen. Which is well, it, and like to at least play like reasonable. Hey, this is why if you're gonna shift any of it, you kind of have to shit up, shift all of it the way they tell yeah. these stories or the yeah. way they're supposed to oh, with the fucking interconnected well, shit. Because <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, mm -hmm. Like yeah. if you have to, if you shift some of these release dates, you kind of have to shift them all if you want to tell the story. And Ryan, to your point. To show how much planning is actually put into these things, which is absolutely fucking none. I have an answer to your question. Your question earlier. Mm. I have an answer. You're what not going to like question? it. That question is, how does Michael Keaton's Batman fit in the Batgirl, considering what happens in The Flash? <laughs> About six inches. And the <laughs> Come on, Keaton's 5'9". He's maybe seven, you know? Okay, okay. Uh, uh, I was no. giving him the average. I was giving him the average, you know? Uh, the official word from the studio was... The multiverse is spaghetti. Don't worry about it. For real? <laughs> For really? Real. That's uh, why is that that's, that's some that. end game logic There's right no there. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. From the studio heads that make millions of dollars. <laughs> yeah, they're also spending millions to lose millions as we yeah. go along. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Yep. Ninety six million down the shit. You know, I think I, I think like the biggest <laughs> bullshit order, yeah. too with uh, this entire promotion for the Flash was it was so many it was just random people, random like celebrities or actors, not critics necessarily, but just random fucking people that were coming out of the woodwork to talk about how amazing the Flash was. I know. And yeah. it was so weird and yeah. fucking random and didn't make any sense. Yeah. Uh, it's like that was their market strategy attempt for this one. Yeah, it's exactly. That, that it, this is the greatest um, comic book movie ever. It's like it's you are so fucking like full of shit. They were Ding. paid to do yeah. so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I'll just come out and say it was with the movie stars. And now the, the shills, the shill critics get their fucking access because they can be counted on to give them positive reviews. And like, dude, we heard it from fucking tom cruise we heard it from james gunn who's full of fucking shit by the way they're to all be, full of fucking shit to, to be fair about the tom cruise one it was somebody said tom cruise loved it okay <laughs> you know it's like somebody was like you know tom cruise he he called somebody and he told them that this movie's just incredible and then that person told me and i'm telling you but like james that's gunn, what, okay James Gunn came out and said, this yeah. is my favorite DC film. Movie until the next one. And until I'm so excited yeah. about this one. You're going to love this one. This is my favorite comic book movie. He said shit he said, like he said that. Greatest comic book movie. And then we heard time. other critics echo what James Gunn said. Yeah. We've heard uh, some of the access people come out and say, this is absolutely great. Like Rob Meyer Burnett, to his credit, when we saw him in Vegas, was like, it's all right. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Like I liked it. You know, James movie. Gunn's just trying to it's use the movie. star power to move it, right? Like to give it yeah. a bit more of a boost because they abandoned Shazam and they prob are they going to be abandoning Aquaman and Blue Beetle or are they going to try and yes, not not Blue Beetle. I, I know they said they I, well, like I know they, you mean, they're not going to Do you mean now. they abandon Shazam like the character or the movie? The movie. Both. Movie. So I, I don't even agree with that they abandoned the movie and there were people bitching about oh they didn't spend enough on marketing. They spent. For a, a production budget of a hundred, hundred twenty-five million for Shazam Two, they spent a hundred million dollars or more marketing it. 
Wow. So I didn't not, see shit all of that. <laughs> it's not like they didn't spend money. I heard a lot of that shit, but they did spend money promoting. Yes, they did. They so, um, this, they spent, uh, Flash has an incredible, like the marketing budget's insane. There, like, there's no way it's not 150 million at least for Flash. Agreed. If not, Agreed. Well, there's no way their see... production is only 200. I mean, that's bullshit. I didn't see anything yeah. from James Gunn saying like, "You got to go see Shazam. It's so good." Zachary Levi just nails it. Oh my god, it's such a mm -hmm. great, you know, <laughs> blah blah blah. Like, you know, he didn't do any of that. But for the Flash, oh, he was really trying to sell it. Do you well, think? I mean, do, you, do you think it's because they're thinking if this is a success? then we'll keep Ezra Miller because he sucks a lot of dick. They Maybe. said, Annie Muschietti said, whatever. He said they have a sequel written and ready yeah. to go in production if this one does well. I personally think they're going to shit can everybody um, except for James Gunn's wife um, and <laughs> that they're going to just move forward. But they're, they were never going to say that before this movie came out. Yeah. Wait, they're keeping Ezra? No. No, no I don't I think, think so. they're keeping so. Ezra. Oh, no, no there's, no, there's no flash announcement in in whatever the first uh, slate of films. There's no flash anywhere. Yeah. So uh, yeah. there's an authority. The so hey, authority. is is the next Aquaman movie coming out still in December, yes. November, yes. December mm -hmm. this year? And that is still yeah, technically old guard these movies and still and nobody's going to go see them. They're so great. Blue Beetle is so Amber cool. Heard shown her titties. Uh, Aquaman 2 is not going to flop. It's going to plop. <laughs> <laughs> on your best Just, don't forget the there. first one made a billion dollars it did hey, you know yeah, captain captain marvel made a billion dollars too what's up yellow flash hail brother um yeah, they might have made a, mil a billion dollars but it, it cheated because it sold to its audience and as we all know it's not real okay it's not real success no it it, it, it we we heard all the fucking rumors and and it was even kind of hard to believe at the time that Disney was buying box buying blocks of tickets and there was a bunch of empty theaters that were being considered sold out. And we're like, all right, all right. But then like time passed and we've seen fortifications of all kinds, and we've seen <laughs> Disney get fucking caught fudging numbers. We've yep. seen Warner Brothers get caught fudging numbers. So uh I believe I think it's believable. I can't say I could prove it, but I think it's believable. I think there was also a lot of hype. For Captain Marvel and Marvel was just in a better place, and now they oh, yeah, have damaged their brand permanently. permanently. It was the setup, uh, yeah, it was played as the setup for Endgame, so it makes complete sense to me as to how the film was able to get yeah, that. Yeah, sure. Well, the, the oh. one thing with the Captain Marvel stuff, I, I talked about this like years ago. What they do is they buy seats out of their marketing budget, and, and that's how they get away with it. Because, like, the, the screening I went to, there was a lot more seats sold than there were butts to fill them. Yes, so, uh, uh, yeah. Ryan. Do they, they they pay themselves for streaming movies? Yeah. yeah. So, oh, by the way, I I know that yeah, selling yeah. to your audience is fake success because I learned that from Twitter over Eric July's campaign because yes. his success is fake because he sold to his audience. So it must work all the way well, around. He bought his own books. That would be the oh, same. He, he thing. Oh, oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, he bought his three own million books. from his first book and bought all the books. That that I'm sure that'll be. Okay. Not in the book. Sorry, the Blaze bought it all too. I think that's kind of yeah. Another. Glenn the Beck. thing is, oh, yeah, now him. I'm not. Of course, I'm not saying Eric did that at all. But that is actually a strategy people have done in the past. Like Absolutely. back when the New York Times bestseller list was so big, there were some controversies of people actually buying their own book to pump up those numbers to get it on the New York Times bestsellers list because it was a bestseller. And so I don't put it past Disney at all for them, you know, buying their own tickets to pump up their own numbers because that is stuff that has happened in the past. And Disney is a scummy, dishonest company yeah. that I definitely think it's absolutely. Well, it's it's, happen, it's happened with movies too, because it happened with like Ip Man three in China. Dude, that's that's we're we're at the end of the line of this kind of marketing. Like it definitely happened. Okay, the, yeah. would Disney hire bots to uh, positively review bomb one of their films. To yes, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. absolutely fucking they would do it. Uh, but they can't anymore. They don't have the extra money. They don't have the marketing money. They don't have the will. And we we also they also had the like the press all the way on their side. Uh, and, and that's starting and, to crack, isn't it? Well, that is gone. It is yeah. fucking gone. And gone. now now the writers who are fucking sucking all of their dicks uh, are pissed at them now, too. So, like, Hollywood's fighting over uh, <laughs> uh, a shrinking leave pie. Leave some for Ezra. <laughs> yeah, leave some for Ezra. So, like, uh, you know, you thought COVID, we're going to have a COVID-like year. We're going to have a COVID-like like year. COVID there's going to be shit. Electric boogaloo, yeah, man. there's going to be shit mm -hmm. that's, not, that's delayed for a long time. This, this strike is, they're not even talking. 
They're like, no. and the actors go on strike in <laughs> what 14 days? Yeah, good. Yeah, and force yep. majeure comes in. So, yeah, here we go again. Good. Here we go Let's again. Go. Okay, we got to wrap things up, folks. Uh, because uh, are, are we going out? Uh, yeah, we're gonna go out. We're gonna go out. I got a show. Tomorrow. We have dinner tonight. We got dinner tonight. We got all kinds. Oh of stuff. my god, oh. you're fucking married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's right over she's there. Like, <laughs> she's like right. You're going a little too far this way. I think it's you know. Does it look like I'm talking yeah. to you? Save like, are we your man. Dinner? Are we going to dinner? I just went to the lovely Indian place last night. It was so good. <laughs> I rest my case. Right mode. month. <laughs> I'm holding a stuffed animal of myself, and I feel less gay than you two. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that kid, the skin tone difference there. It really is pretty white. <laughs> yeah. It was ghostly white. Look at ghost. that. My camera's still off from me, but yeah. You look, you look yellow, though. No, you look pink Better. now. I know. Yeah. I'm trying to fuck with it. I, I, I looked like a fucking Smurf for a while. Let's see if I can find it again. Dude, it's it's your walls, man. You need to put something on your fucking it's wall. It's just the white balance, you know? Uh, just, yeah. The white balance, but it's, you know, the pink on your walls is bringing out the pink. <laughs> better? Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, much better. better. He's a smurf. Like you're in the Arctic. I'm, I'm actually going to be, be an Avatar 5 released in 2031 <laughs> because, because, uh, because, because well, all, the, all the actors are going to be too no. old by then. 2031. Uh, how old's James Cameron going to be then? Like, Dead. Dead. Uh, <laughs> Dead isn't an yeah. age. But like Sam Worthington's gonna be like 57. Zoe Saldana's gonna be like 60. <laughs> she's uh she's gonna be she says I was 27 when I made the first film. I'm gonna be 53 by the time I finish oh the last. Oh, Damn. Yeah. Sam Worthington, uh, you know how you shrink when you get older. Uh he's gonna be a fucking hobbit by the time <laughs> it's like, he's, a, he's pretty short he's now. Short, they can <laughs> fix it in post with all the CGI, you know. What, what, you know what, he's a fucking avatar. He's a, uh, he's a, yeah, he's a Barney yes, or whatever. A Navi. A Navi. He's a Navi. He's a varnish. Fucking a this it's gonna be what ten more years of people going nuts over those movies for a month I and a half and forgetting they exist. I hate those movies. Yeah. I hope every subsequent film it just drops and drops it. and drops. No, you know what? It's yeah, gonna, maybe it'll only be in two billion by the time yeah. it's over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna make two billion <laughs> the most forgotten franchise of all time. The highest grossing forgotten franchise of all time. No, it'd be funny because it'll be one. we'll drop it. I've seen Avatar too. Once that's <laughs> you liked them. You liked it'll, them. it'll make two billion. I like well, I hate it the first one. It 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 it'll once. make two billion, but it'll be a flop because it costs so yes. much. I've actually seen them more than you have, and I liked it less. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter if you only watched it <laughs> once if two fault. billion people watched it. Yeah. Yeah. Watching fucking Avatar 2 because your brother, Melissa. All his fault. I blame him. All right, let's get out of here. Uh we'll get the uh square up is gonna be from the road. I tried to do one yesterday. I couldn't you showed up at one Fucking in the morning because you showed up at one i drove all 30. the way man i drove all the yeah. way and stopped dang married couple you're lucky you didn't hit weather like we did that was gnarly where were you last what? night so you were late <laughs> you came in late. i was staying up i was worried about you worried. dinner got cold I wasn't worried. I was just like, shit. It's in the dog Let's now. Let me smell your We dice. don't even have a dog. I another editor. <laughs> Damn, I got so to edit I was videos, worried man. about, yeah, I was like, do I have to start editing again? I better practice. <laughs> 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 oh, X Ray Girl, what do you got coming up besides uh, your choices? Well, uh, this weekend I'm going to take it off because I have a family thing, but, huh? You said you're going to take it off. Uh, maybe I will. What are you gonna take? Wow. Why you gotta ask? Is <laughs> <laughs> this potential nudity involved? Uh who knows, guys? Who knows? But uh we might do a couple road trip live streams <laughs> on my channel. You all is rocking, don't bother knocking. <laughs> 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 um so if you want to catch that, uh follow extra girl on YouTube. All right, man, got those nine words in somehow. Some weird I moment. always get it, but you did. In oh. wow. <laughs> <laughs> what am I saying? Hesitantly. I don't know. In <laughs> talking about having like lesbian sex with Carolyn, fucking last live stream My that goodness. got clipped. Yeah, 
<laughs> what happens in Dallas? Stays an X-ray Stay girl. Yeah. <laughs> Stays an X-ray girl. <laughs> Oh, it goes on the Twitter. <laughs> and it goes on the Twitter. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, uh, comics uh, division. I was going to make a joke that's too graphic even for this show. What? Wow. <laughs> oh, There's come no on, Ryan. Well, I, was gonna, I was going to say what happens in Dallas stays an X-ray girl until she starts walking and it drips down her leg. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, oh, sounds no, like a I good night. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Odin. <laughs> You're right, buddy. Actually, Ryan, I've, I've heard yeah. worse. I've heard worse on this show. <laughs> I, think we I had like I had some like small piece of my soul left in me that almost wanted me to respect a woman for a second. It was kind of scary. <laughs> 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 yeah, there's an old saying: uh, "This too shall pass," and it did for you. So it's okay. Uh, Comics division. What you got coming up? Oh, man. Uh, let's see. I dropped my Flash review today, and I'll have a, another video coming out today over on the Current Year with Ian K channel uh, talking about the Starbucks lawsuit. So that should be interesting. As always, guys, great hanging out with you. I uh, love the conversation around the Flash, and uh, we'll see you next Friday. Right on. What what's st Starbucks lawsuit? What are they getting sued for now? Oh, uh, re remember when uh, I guess it was around 2020 in Philadelphia, where the manager of a Starbucks basically called the police to have um, two black men removed. Well, they they fired uh, the manager and basically who was a white woman, and she basically sued Starbucks and won. For for them firing her because she was white. Yes. yes. So for racism. Yes. So yes. A white woman won. Twenty five million. Twenty five million. Yeah. 25 million. Yeah. So that yeah. the headline the headline was Starbucks forced to pay twenty five million to an employee who says she was fired because of her race. Yeah. And all the left just went crazy. They're like, yes, yes. And then they read the fucking subtitle. She was white. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, the, the funny thing about it too is that there was a uh, a black manager from another store that basically backed up her story. Yeah. So yeah. The the headline I saw was a uh, woman awarded $25 million for kicking two black men out of a Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and why did she kick those men out? Because they weren't buying anything. They were supposed to be there for like a meeting, but they were sitting around not buying anything. And the funny thing about stores is they have a right to refuse service and kick you out. And that's what they basically told them to, to basically to leave. And they refused to leave. And so Just she buy called a coffee. Cops. Just yeah, buy that's a what fucking you buy, coffee, you cheap ass. Okay, now. I mean, it is ten dollars, but I mean, shit, you're in a big city. Mm. Why would you go to Starbucks? Ten dollars. Uh, don't be what? Just finish it. Broke. <laughs> <laughs> Broke and. <laughs> And then, <laughs> and then, and then, go on. And then, and then, and then. <laughs> Don't be cheap. Buy buy a coffee. Uh, oh yeah. Stop, Stop being cheap. Poor. Stop being poor. Stop my God. being poor. <laughs> Bring money. Don't be cheap with it. It's the lesson of the day. I'm gonna get that T-shirt off Paris Hilton. Stop being poor. Stop being poor. Mm -hmm. Owen. What's up? We can talk about over at OMB Reviews on YouTube, Odyssey, Rumble, and Twitter. And yeah, check out the Templar Odin plushie as well. Link in the description. Link in the description. Link Thank in the description for everybody's stuff. Yeah. For their stuffs. Uh, you. Yeah, I know. Uh, I've got a show coming out on June 20th called Normal World with me, Dave Landau. It's a sketch show. It's a late night talk show. It's a podcast. It's all kinds of stuff. We're going to have Flawzilla as our first guest. And nice. Metzger. As That's our her. Guess. Kerp. Nice. Kerp. 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 Yeah, yeah, cool. So Flods go cool subscribe. Too. Link in the description. Thank Hell you. yeah. Hell yeah. It's going to be so weird for you to like go to that nice studio, right? And yeah. And then deal, back to deal, deal, deal with this shit. This. Oh my yeah. God. We, we were here for like two and a half hours trying to fix the camera. <laughs> I didn't want to mention that, but. Yeah, it worked though. Hey, look, Gary actually called me in the middle of uh, filming or recording my video, and I didn't get to it until after I was done. So, sorry, I couldn't have been more help, man. Hey, we got it work. We got it work. We got it work. Should we tell him what how we got it fucking working? Yeah, do it. <laughs> did you did you pl so, unplug okay, it and plug it back in again? There was a cable. Almost that did bad. you plug it in Almost all the way? The USB cable that we found that was an issue. We had a we bad cable. Hours. We had a bad cable, and we could have just. Did you try turning it off and turning it back on again? A, a lot, a lot, but we we didn't try it with with the good cable. <laughs> we did it with the bad cable. Yeah. <laughs>
And they were like, wait, let's just swap out the cable. And then it worked. It worked. You know, right two before the show hours started. later. Right before Snap the fucking that motherfucker show started. In the trash. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> did we throw, did, wasn't the cable thrown away in Dallas too? Yes. Oh, yeah. We, had, yeah. we, we lost I the wonder cable. what's going on with these cables in between these. I have no idea. This, what's going on? What they're put doing? away perfectly and, okay, yeah. and put away <laughs> properly all the time. Uh-huh. Professionally. Very uh, I, I don't know I'm feeling doing. a lot of tension I hear here. hear doubt in your voice, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying there's, some, there's a common Get me out of this. On. <laughs> uh, I like swords, and there's a video coming out on Shadow of <laughs> where I chop down trees. Yes. Actual trees. You wear yeah, Chad likes big swords, and he cannot lie. Why that are you gay? Oh. It's very Why true. Okay. And that's all I got. Well, I mean, I, I, there is a review of the Flash on Night's Watch as well. Who asked oh. Dad if he's wearing high heels in I this? Just, what? He he he's tried man. trees. Do you what? wear high heels? <laughs> oh, okay. I get it. I get it. He skips and jumps. He, he dresses in women's clothing and hangs He's a lumberjack and he's okay. Right? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it took me a minute. Sorry. <laughs> X-ray girl, it's Monty fucking Python. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know that. <laughs> uh, I might not watch famous, it tonight. I'm very just famous fucking series of like movies and shows from New Zealand. Fucking learn your history, yes. all right? <laughs> yeah, get it right. Greatest sketch comedy group of all time. Yep. You're yeah. using coconuts. Oh, I saw that scene where he was. <laughs> <laughs> Which oh movie God. is that hey, from? Hey, oh hey, my hey God. hold on, hold on. Uh, there is much that... work to be done with this one. X ray girl, do you know the difference between an African and a European swallow? <laughs> <laughs> one does and one does. <laughs> 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 Just Talk watch the Holy Glory. <laughs> What's Monty oh. Python's little girl? That movie is fucking birds. fantastic. Birds. What did you think Life I was Brian. talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Your mind went right to the gutter. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know the All difference. Right. Uh, Ryan, what you got coming up? Uh, fucking nothing. Making a bunch more videos on my channel, Sports Wars, Geeks and Gamers Daily. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I don't fucking know. Pride Month's, Pride Month's over halfway done. So thank God. Um, only two more weeks. Well, it's Pride Year all year, mate. Yeah. Not for me. All year. <laughs> As. Yes. <laughs> okay, thanks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what you got, Carol? Just, oh, just, uh, just one thing I would like to say. <laughs> yeah, there, there it is. There it is. Bye. Oh, thank God, that was short. Uh, yep. Mahler, the long man. Thanks for coming in. No problem. Oh, fun talking with a bunch of Flash fans to figure yes. out, you know, what's going on here, why it was like, why it wasn't. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we're, we're going to do an EFAB on it tomorrow. So if you want to hear more autistic detail as to why it may have been <laughs> great or terrible, you can join us there if you want to. Thanks for having me, of course, lads. It's always a pleasure. Well, there's oh, one man. thing that can be sure about the Flash. It was definitely autistic because that <laughs> yes. is who Barry Allen is. In this. That is true. So, yes. Yep. And our guest, once again, the literature devil. Thanks for joining us. What do you have yeah, coming, up, sir? Uh, well, I just normal videos as always, but working on those. I think my next video I'm working on right now is actually an ISOM review of the first ISOM book. So oh, that one is coming out pretty soon. We're recording it. Uh, well, not right now, but soon. Uh, also, of course, Doctor Alpha Dead Man's Alibi. That one, that book is still available back. And I want to one thing I want to say on that is thank you to everyone. Because that one just broke 35,000, which means <gasps> it just met our stretch goal. Hell yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. cool. nice. It's good to see. You. So thank you very much, everyone. Very much appreciate. Very much appreciate. I really enjoy your generosity. I appreciate your generosity. And I will pay it back with uh, the stretch goal reward, which is an additional extra short story that's going to be in the back of the book. And th- I already have an idea in mind for that one. I, I got it while watching Thor Ragnarok, or at least as much of the movie as it could stand <laughs> on a second viewing. So it should be pretty pretty interesting, I think. Brilliant. More stuff. I like More that. More stuff. Yeah. yeah. Iron uh, Age. Uh, hail to the Iron Age. Thanks to everyone in the chat for supporting. Uh, Critical Drinker, Razor Fist, our friend Graham Nolan, Chuck Dixon, Eric July, the Literature Devil, and many more. And uh, it's good to see. This is how it's, you know, I think a lot of people just wanted this shit to happen overnight. Like, you don't 
make uh, independent movements don't happen overnight. They're, they're f- incredibly fractured. And if we're lucky, they last for about a decade. So uh, hopefully we're at the beginning of one now, uh, kind of like we saw with film in the nineties. So except with everything, this will be with everything. I would love is, this indie movement. Yeah. I fucking, <laughs> yeah. With music, with novels, with movies, with web shows, TV shows. Yeah. I, I can't wait to see what happens because uh, Hollywood's going down and they did it to themselves. <laughs> they did it to themselves. Uh, am I forgetting anything? I'm going to the cosmic summit tomorrow to see Randall Carlson, uh, Ben from uncharted X and many others. Uh, it's, uh, some Atlanta shit. It's pretty cool, but it's, I mean, Atlantis is sim- oversimplifying it. It's way the oversimplifying. younger Dryas uh, comic impact theory. It's uh, it's got, it's grounded in some real science. It's freaking fascinating. Uh, and we'll be talking about it a lot on forbidden frontier. At least the imagine the Clovis thing. stuff should be pretty interesting. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, well, speaking, of, speaking of the Indies, uh, I hear yellow flash is going to be coming out with a comic book in the fall. He is. Really? Oh, nice. Oh, this cool. is. He put up a little cool. teaser trailer up on uh, on the Twitters, and uh, we will be discussing it in the future. But, now, I'm uh, saying I believe facetiously because I'm on the team. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh I, this girl. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen a couple of things. That's all I'm going to say. It, it looks awesome. It looks, it looks fantastic. Art is awesome. It's great. Awesome. It's been Looking the forward to it. A long time. For a long time. So uh, this isn't just something that he decided to do yesterday. Oh, yeah, so, he, hey, he, he asked me about it like years ago. So he's, he's, this yeah. is not just overnight kind of thing. This is something he's put a lot of thought and work into. Hell yeah. Good dude. Yellow Flash. All right. Uh, we'll see you all next week with. It's a Gundam. Gundam. Oh, Papa nice. Gundam is back. It's about time. That's good. And uh, yeah, Indiana Jones is coming out in a couple weeks. Uh, Witcher's coming out in a couple weeks. Secret Invasion's coming out next uh, week. So I'll have a lot to talk about. More homework. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know it. I love this new, like, I'm making you watch shit now. Because I used to not make people watch shit, but not, now it's just fun. Gary's <laughs> exercising his power. <laughs> no, it, it is. The it's oppression. Cool. And, and we, must, we must follow what he says. Yes. You, if you don't. Oh, yeah. I forgot the. To- Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. If you don't, I'll stick the Masons on you. Yeah, <laughs> stick the Masons. Uh, and Randall, it is, it is true that Randall Carson's like a very open Freemason. <laughs> no, so were the founding fathers. Yes, I'm sending signals out to the Freemasons. Hold on. Oh, I'm yeah. giving. Right <laughs> Wait, it, this is signal right. too, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, mm. Let's forget right. that. Okay. Good show. <laughs> uh, bye. Bye. bye everyone. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Do we have credits today? Yeah. We do. <laughs> when we it's a God damn, Gary. Some serious gourmet shit. What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadent, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast FNT Blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. <laughs>
Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. Dame, dame.